Hi everyone. So as you know, I've been doing third party readings recently. Um, I will still be doing the regular zodiac, the mid month and beginning of the month zodiac readings as well. I know that you guys like to see those, but I just have recently added the the third party readings because there's a lot of third party situations right now. There's a lot of information coming in, so there's going to be a mix of things on this channel. Um, if you have not, if you're in this, this energy group and you haven't already, you should check out the third party reading I did just a few days ago. It's about, you know, the karmic's illusions and threats basically being exposed, the karmic being caught. There was a lot of information in there that, um, you're probably going to want to see a lot of information about what's going on behind the, th the scenes, just things that you or your person may not already know. Um, so you might want to check that video out. It is third party karmics, illusions and threats exposed. I think you need to know this now is the title. Anyway, let me see what's going on now. I got woken up with some kind of energy, some kind of messages. So I'm going to see what the cards want to say. I'm already channeling some of it though. I'm already feeling, okay. So what I'm feeling here <clears throat> is I'm getting two energies. I'm getting and, and, you know, take it as it resonates. When I say masculine and feminine, it's it's not gender specific. This could be three women. This could be three men. You know, it could be a mix. But for the most of you, I'm feeling like this is actually two masculines, two men and one woman. And I'm getting that the woman is the karmic. And I'm getting that she's seducing this masculine behind the DM's back is basically the energy I'm getting. And this could be past energy. I'm not saying that this is necessarily going on right now. Your DM might not even be with a karmic at this point. I think for a lot of you, they're probably not together. They might be in a situation where they're dealing with each other, but they're not actually together. There's no romance there. There's no love there, despite how the karmic might want to make it seem. But, um, but I'm feeling like in the past, the karmic cheated on this on this man is what I'm feeling very strongly. And I don't think that he knows. So that came through strongly for this energy group that for, for the majority of you, if you if you resonated with my last video, if that was your story and you're in this group, I would say for like 90% of you or more, the karmic did actually cheat with another man probably multiple times. Um, there could have been drugs and alcohol involved. There could have been... Um, I'm getting like partying for some of them, not for all of them, but for some of them. But there's something else I want to look into that's very specific. Now, this is probably only for a few select people. But what I'm feeling is that the karmic actually. And for those of you that are that are new to this energy that, you know, the DM is the divine masculine, the divine feminine is the DF. So this is like a destined couple. This is like a power couple. This is, you know, soulmates, twin flames. The karmic, when I say the karmic, I'm referring to a man or a woman that's basically just, you know, she needed to come in to teach this man lessons. Like they taught each other things, but this isn't like a lifelong relationship. Um, and so for many of you, as you know, the karmic is basically trying to dig her claws in and she's trying to make this relationship that's not even meant to last for her last longer. And in the process, she's actually screwing herself over. So I won't get into that too much just because I already did that in my last video. And I know I don't want to repeat it over and over again for you guys that probably, you know, don't want to go listen to all that again. But basically, she's screwing herself over and she's meant to meet someone in the next six months. That's going to be her true love. And she's going to end up screwing that up for herself. There are so many spirit guides around you and your person, you know, take it as it resonates. Maybe this is you dealing with a karmic, or maybe it's your person's dealing with a karmic. But this divine couple, this destined couple, there's so many spirit guides around you guys protecting you, protecting your relationship. Like you don't even need to really worry. This karmic is is she's nothing. She's just nothing. She's a joke. But but yeah, she's about to screw herself over so bad that she's going to end up blocking her own destiny. She's actually meant to meet someone or it could be someone that she's already met that she's meant to be with for the rest of her life. And that's about to get screwed up if she doesn't stop. Like she's got I, I kept getting like six months, like maybe like six months maximum. For some, they don't have that long. For some, they only have a couple months or less. Um, 
But what the karmic doesn't know is that all her bad intentions for you and your person are coming back on her tenfold. Because I got in that last video. So just, just to reiterate, just for those of you that are new, just really quick. And then I'm going to get into the new reading, the, the new energy updates. But but I got this visual of this karmic that was trying to do black magic. And it was it was almost pathetic. It was honestly almost pathetic. It's like she... She's on a power trip. She, this karmic is very narcissistic, very, very controlling. So when she does magic, she doesn't even know what she's doing. She doesn't understand the laws of the universe. She doesn't understand magic. But when she does magic, she feels like she's powerful. She feels like she's powerful just because she's on such a power trip. So she thinks that that's like the universe having her back or it's, you know, something's happening. And it's just, it's, it's pretty much just, it's just her. It's just in her. She's delusional. It's just in her head. And I just got this visual of in the last reading that you guys should check out if this is your energy group. In the last reading I did, I got this visual of this karmic that was like lighting, you know, she's like doing some kind of magic. She's like, I just see her in the middle of the room. She's trying to do it behind the masculine's back. Um, or the feminine's back. You know, this could be, you could be a divine masculine that's dealing with, um, you know, maybe your your divine feminine is dealing with a toxic, you know, male or female karmic as well. You know, take it as it resonates. But anyway, I saw this woman that was just in the center of the room, like kneeling down. She's trying to do this magic. And it's like she had a couple little demons here and there that were like, oh, sure, we'll help her out. Just little, little low vibrational imps. But she had so many spirit guides on your side and your person's side with this divinely, you know, protected connection, just watching her. Just taking all that energy she was putting into the, into her spell, into whatever she was doing and blocking it from affecting you guys and also just basically holding on to it to basically screw this karmic over later with it. Like she is, it's, it's, it's pretty bad when someone is, is that off path that they're actually just not supported by the universe at all. Like most people have like angels and they have gods and goddesses and they have something that supports them. This woman doesn't have anything like she's getting further and further off this path. Um, and like I said in the last video, video, you know, she she can change that. She has she would have to really balance out her bad karma. She would have to really put energy and time into to getting good karma to get, you know, the high vibrational beings on the universe in the universe to actually like want to help her and want to see her do well again. Um, and to also, you know, to not end up getting completely screwed over and not end up losing her true love because, because yeah, the, the path she's going on now, she's about to regret ever even holding on to this masculine. She's about to wish that she had let him go. Cause I keep seeing like jail time, like prison time or jail time for, for the karmic or like something like some kind of bondage where she's going to be trapped and she's going to be trapped for a long time. This could be a number of things. I mean, take it as it resonates, but I just feel like if she knew the kind of beings that are protecting you and protecting your person, she would not want to do spell work. She would actually pretty much beg to let him go. She would want to let him go. She would want to run. She would not want to touch this if she knew just how protected this connection is. If she knew the kind of beings that she's pissing off, this is like, I'm talking like, I'm talking like Egyptian gods and goddesses, like Celtic angels, uh, all kinds of different high vibrational spirits that she's pissing off. And it's almost like, I mean, I feel like this, the energy of divine intervention. Sorry, I want to get into the other reading too, because I, I got a strong message here, but I keep getting the energy of like divine intervention where it's like, some of you don't even need to do spell work back. Some of you do. Maybe like, you know, protection is always great. It's good. But like, I just feel like the divine is like going to step in. They're going to take care of this for you. This person's spirit guides, your spirit guides, they're taking, they're about to take care of this for you. Like this karmic can basically choose between letting go of the DM and letting him move on and letting him be happy without her. Cause he already is happy without her. He already doesn't want her. But the karmic can basically choose between letting him go and letting him be happy and, and minding her business or she can lose everything. And I'm talking like she could lose like like that, like a house. She could lose 
I was getting she could lose custody too, which makes a lot of sense because I kept getting jail and prison time for some of them. So yeah, obviously if you go to jail, you're not going to be getting custody. You're not going to be able to keep custody. Once you have that on record, you're done. Um, but yeah, lots of bad karma for the karmic. This is actually about to spill over into the next lifetime too. She had bad karma in her previous lives and she was supposed to get it right this lifetime and do things differently and let go of the control issues but she chose not to. So she's actually going to not only end up having a, a screwed up, sad life this lifetime, but she's also going to end up having it next lifetime too, if she keeps this up. So, so yeah, anyway, I went into that, into that in the last reading where it's like, she has a very limited time to really change her ways and let this man go. And if she does that, and if she makes, you know, if she makes things right, if she, um, you know, if she changes this energy and balances out her karma, then, then yeah, she might actually be able to end up with her true love this lifetime and have the money and success that she wants this lifetime. She might be able to keep the things that she's trying to keep if she lets go of this masculine. That's the one thing she's going to have to let, let go of, but she might be able to keep the money and the, the true love that's either come in or going to come in for her within the next six months. And she might even be able to avoid jail time as well, you know, and keep custody and whatever else she's trying to keep. Just as long as, you know, she stops trying to mess with this divinely guided and protected couple that are meant to spend their lives together. Um, and it's really sad for the karmic, too, because like I said in the last reading, it's like she's actually meant to find her true love if she has not found him or her already. And this true love, like once she's with this person, she's going to be like, why the fuck did I even hold on to the karmic? Why did I even like... Like, why, I didn't even love him. I didn't even want him. Like, why did I even hold on to that? Like, why was I so bitter? Like, she's going to feel embarrassed. She's going to feel pathetic for trying to hold on to someone that didn't want her. She's going to, it's like she's digging herself into this deeper and deeper hole that she can't get out of. And, you know, she's got to stop digging and start, you know, getting out of that hole, basically, if she wants to. Um, but yeah, it's like sad because it's like her true love is going to be someone that would like, you know, like when she's with this person, she's going to be like, damn, I wish I would have let go of the karmic a long time ago. Like he wasn't my person either. Like we weren't, you know what I mean? Like I get this energy, like they were never really happy. They were never really in love. It was more just like for show or like they had some kind of obligation to each other, but like there was never true love there. And intuitively, I think the karmic knows that deep down. Um, karmic might just be afraid of being alone or something like that or whatever but it's like when she's with this person this this true love it's like she's gonna be like damn like I wish I had let go of the karmic a long time ago and allowed this true love to come into my life and you know like I see like I you know what I mean like she's just gonna be so full of regret and it's like Hopefully she changes and, you know, she changes and switches things up enough in time to still be able to even manifest this true love that's meant to come in. But anyway, but yeah, it's like you guys are protected though. You're, you're, if you're a divine feminine and masculine, and this could be, this could be, this applies to gay and lesbian relationships. I just want to say that because I know sometimes people think like, like that they're being excluded if I say feminine and masculine. It's not like that. It's just one person is in like the feminine energy and one person's in the more masculine energy. But this this applies to the gay and lesbian and transgender community as well. So please just take it as it resonates. Um, but yeah, it's just sad because it's like she's everything that she does, be it physically, like trying to manipulate, trying to do some stuff on the side, trying to trying to hide some stuff or be it witchcraft behind the scenes, whatever. Like, it's all coming back on her. It's like, she can't, she thinks that she can hide from spirits. It's like, no, the spirits see you wherever you go. You can't have a little secret phone conversation and not have this person's spirit guides hearing it. Like, they hear everything you're plotting. They know what you're thinking. They know what you're going to try to do. Like, they know. Like, they just know. And they're about to fuck this woman's life up so bad that it's almost... I'd almost feel sorry for this woman if she hadn't done it to herself. But yeah, she has like, I, like I said, for a lot of them, they have a very limited amount of time to avoid, um, you know, jail time, losing, losing everything, uh, you know, not, not meeting their true love or not ending up with their actual true love because they wanted to hold on to the karmic masculine instead. Um, 
And honestly, even with jail time, I feel like the the time that this karma and like I don't feel like it's set in stone that she has to go to jail right now, but it's getting close to that point. The more she she screws up and tries to control and manipulate things. But I honestly get that the jail time is kind of up in the air. Like there's not like a set amount of time that she has to go to jail. Like this could just be like six months, but it could also be like six or seven years. And it could be enough for her to lose custody as well if they, if they have custody. So, um, so yeah, that's just the vibe that I get. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Um, so it's almost like, it's like she decides how bad this gets for her. You know what I mean? Like, let's say she does this for another month and it's like, okay, at that point, the divine might be like, all right, six months jail time. She does it for another three or four months. The divine might be like, okay, six years jail time instead of six months. Like, how much is going to come to the surface? How much is going to be revealed? Do you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, hopefully she does the right thing and gives up and realizes that this battle is pointless she's wasting it's like she's wasting her time she's wasting her life her energy any good karma she had she's just turning it all into bad karma over someone that she doesn't even love it's like why why you know like hold on to your actual true love if you have not met them like i would manifest them you know what i mean like for the karmic i'm saying like if you haven't met this person like manifest them Hold on to that person while you can. You know what I mean? Like, hold on to your actual true love while, you know, you still have that option too. But anyway, so I want to get into the reading. Okay. I know that was, I, you guys probably heard all of that in my last reading anyway, so I'm sorry about that. I'll try not to repeat the that energy uh, in the next reading because I know there's more and more messages that I keep getting that are coming through. So this message came through strongly. So there is... um. There's a situation, so, okay, so there's some kind of situation where there is, I just keep getting, there's either two women that are fucking a man over, but for most of you, I don't think that's the case. I think it's two men and one female that's fucking these two men over. So what I'm getting is actually that there's something shady going on. There's something really shady so remember in the beginning of the reading, I was saying, I feel like the karmic cheated on the masculine, on, on your person or on you. The karmic cheated a lot, like to the point where I almost feel like, I almost feel like if she, ha if you guys have kids together, like she's not a hundred percent sure if it's your kid. I think it's your kid, but like, she doesn't know for sure if it is. Like she was, I know that she was cheating. So for those of you that have kids, I feel, I kept getting the message, message strongly. She was cheating around the time that you guys had kids together and I'm getting more cheating down the road too. Like there's periods, there's like a couple, like, I don't know, it depends. It's going to vary for all of you, but I feel like there's a period where she didn't cheat, but then there was a period where she kind of said, screw it. And she went out and cheated. She also did some shit that you don't know about. There's like, cause I'm getting like, this is only for a couple of you, but I could see like cocaine or like some, like I get like some kind of drugs or some kind of like alcohol or something like she did. I'm getting the just like her saying she was out somewhere and she lied about it. Like she was saying like, oh, I have to work late or I have to, oh, I'm going to go out of town for a few days or something. And she was actually doing some shit. Um, Cause I just get her, this, this karmic is unstable. This karmic is incredibly unstable. So I just get a period of her life. I don't know when it was, but a period where she went off the deep end. And some of you, like some of you for your masculines, like they didn't want to deal with it. So they pretended like, th like it wasn't happening. Like they kind of intuitively knew they're like, okay, this is weird. Like, what does she mean? She's working late. Like she, like she, like she doesn't normally work late or what does she mean? She's going out of town to see her aunt. Like she doesn't even like her aunt. That doesn't make, you know, you know what I mean? Like the karmic thinks that she's so smart and so manipulative and it's like, she's not <laughs> for most of you. She's not, you know what I mean? Like, cause like I said, you can't hide from spirits. It's like the, the, this, this masculine is like divinely guided and protected. Like divinely guided. Like she, she would be afraid of this masculine if she knew the spirits that were around him. She literally would not want to mess with him anymore. 
Like she would want to drop him. She would want to beg for forgiveness and run. She, if she saw the beings like the gods, the goddesses, the angels that are around him, she would be terrified. She would be. And if she saw the lack of support that she has in the spirit realm, and don't get me wrong, in the physical realm, she probably has support because she's manipulative. She's toxic. She's seductive. She's a snake. So yeah, she probably has physical world support, but in the spiritual realm, she has no support. And that's where it counts because it's like, this woman could screw herself up for lifetimes and lifetimes to come. She could screw herself up for the rest of her life. It's up to her. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah, like, you know, having people side with you in the physical realm is great, but like the gods and goddesses and angels and the higher beings are what's going to ultimately call the shots. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, she might think she got away with something. She might try to trick him and lie. But does she know that she's that that's coming back on her tenfold? Like, that's the thing. That's the thing. And she doesn't know. And she's going to be in for a rude awakening if she keeps it up. But anyway, so we've already gotten into that in the last reading. But OK, so I sorry when I channel, sometimes I just it all like flows through. And sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying until after I've after it's come through. Like sometimes I'll just say random things. And I'm like, what was that? <laughs> what was that about? Um, but anyway, so I got that there's these two men and the karmic is basically seducing both of them. So one of them is the masculine and she's not actually able to seduce him. Like she's trying to, she's trying to be cute or manipulative. I think that she goes back and forth between trying, trying to be cute and sweet and trying to, you know, portray this like, like feminine soft energy and it's not working. The karmic or like the masculine kind of want to, like, I, I got like a nausea, honestly, like, the masculine is honestly like, no, like, you can't really be the divine feminine. You're just not. You're not the one for me. I'm not the one for you. You know what I mean? Like, why don't we both go our separate ways and you be happy and I be happy? You know, I wish you well. But, um, but yeah, I get that she, like, tries to dress like you sometimes or, like, she tries to, um, and this is just for a few of you, not for all of you. You know, this, like I said, this is an energy group, so there's going to be different specific messages for different people here. Like, if I say a name... If I say like Anna or something, it's like, okay, there's probably one person here named Anna that needed this message or your karmic is named Anna, but that's not for everybody. You know what I mean? It's like, there's going to be specific messages and spirits that come through for individual people, even though it's the same energy group, it's the same. You're in this story. This is your story. You feel me? But, um, but yeah, so for some of you, I feel like she's, she's trying to dress like the, the, the feminine or she's trying to embody that divine feminine energy like intuitive um you know she's very jealous because she's she's not as intuitive as the divine feminine and the reason she's not is because you know why why would these higher powers bless her when she hasn't proven herself to be worthy to be blessed with the, with that intuition you know what i mean like why why would they give someone so controlling and so manipulative that kind of energy if she changed and she showed that she was deserving of that energy and that she would use her intuition for good then yeah they would they would help her out you know what i mean like she you know she's not completely screwed like she does have you know she can change she can turn things around for herself and she can you know prove herself to these higher powers and become more intuitive because they'll you know what i mean like they'll see that she's actually changing and the thing too is she can't fake this change like this. They, they know her heart. They can, these higher powers know what's in her mind, her heart, her soul. She can't pretend with them. This would have to be like genuine. Like she genuinely wants to stop being such a horrible person and wants to use her intuition for good. And it's possible, honestly, if she does balance her karma out that, and she does the right things, then, then it's possible that her, that the spirit guides will actually listen to her finally and um and give her this intuition if she uses it wisely but it's her gifts could be cut off so quickly if she doesn't if they give her this chance and she messes it up they could and i don't even see this happening soon this would be like if she made amends for like a while like i'm getting like a matter of months like if she like really like it'd have to be a genuine change that they saw in her for them to be willing to work with her and give her any kind of spiritual gifts in any way um because this, this feminine, at the, at the moment, she has no spiritual gifts. She has the illusion of spiritual gifts because she's narcissistic, but she doesn't actually have any genuine spiritual gifts. And it's sad because it's like she could. She's blocking herself from that. That's the thing is she's blocking herself from her true love. She's blocking herself from happiness, from 
from spiritual gifts, from intuition, from the life that she could have, the life that she was actually meant to have good karma this lifetime and she's screwing it up for herself. And it's sad because it's like she's blocking herself from those things that she's, you know, she could have had this lifetime and that she still could possibly have if she gets things right. Um, but it's like she wants to throw all of that away for a man that she does not even love. It's it's just, it's sad. It's honestly kind of sad. But anyway, let me get to the point. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I swear, these messages just like come through and I'm just like, eh, let me focus. Channeling is like that where sometimes I just jump around. So I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that's chaotic for you guys. But let me get to the point. Okay. there. Are, so there's two masculine energies and one feminine. And the feminine is seducing. So, okay. So there's two, two men is what I'm feeling. One woman. That's a karmic. So there's the karmic, there's the DM, and then there's the DM's friend or someone that the DM is connected to. This could be like a father. This could be her father. It could be the DM's father. Father. It could be um, someone he's friends with. But I'm getting that there is a lot of crazy shit going on behind the, the masculine's back is basically what I'm getting. Like I said, I think that she cheated. I think that she cheated for a number of... I'm, ge I'm getting for those that like they were together for a few years because I keep getting like two years of like peace or two years of like nothing going on. But then I'm getting after that she cheated. So there was like a period and this isn't for all of you, just for a few of you. But I'm just getting that there was like like there was more cheating than he realized. Like he might have thought like maybe she cheated on him with someone and, and she he thought it was over. Like, you know, like, OK, she cheated the one time, but she's really sorry she probably this this feminine is super manipulative shows she, she knows how to do like the puppy dog tears and the you know like oh I'm sorry like I need you like she knows how to manipulate but she's not it's sad because it's like she's not that smart like I think it's just, it's just weird it's just a weird situation but I'm getting that like for a lot of you it's like she like she cried and, and said she was sorry and then he thought that was it and then she cheated again probably with the same person honestly it might have been like down the road, like maybe like even a year or two later, but I'm getting that she cheated again and he doesn't know. He either doesn't know that she cheated at all, like she he thought she was loyal the whole time, or he does know that she cheated once, but what he doesn't know is that she actually cheated multiple times throughout when they were together, that is. I don't think they're together anymore. I'm not getting that energy. I'm just I'm just getting that he's disgusted by her. Like I'm just getting like he's like he wants her to like move on and be happy. Like I don't I don't sense like necessarily hatred, but like he's there's no let's just say like there there's no love there. There is no he doesn't think she's beautiful. He doesn't, you know, and it's like, why? That's what I'll never understand about the karmics. It's like literally like the karmics have their divine person, their divine masculine or their divine feminine. Why wouldn't she want that? Why wouldn't she want someone that gets off looking at you? Like, why wouldn't she want someone that saves your pictures? Why wouldn't you want someone that's just all about you? Why would you want someone that thinks you're ugly inside and out? Why would you want someone that just genuinely wants you to like, move on and find happiness somewhere else like it's not even like hatred it's more like they just they just they just don't care like the masculine is just like just move on please like like move on let's try to be like we can be friends we can be amicable you know maybe you know maybe there's some hope for a friendship there but there's no sexual or romantic feelings at all on his end not on his end at least but I am so sorry I know I keep getting distracted there's so many messages that want to come out and it's overwhelming anyway. So yeah, there was the cheating going on is what I'm feeling. But so what the masculine doesn't might not know is there, I keep getting something about legal issues and I'm sorry for those of you that are used to card pulling. Like I do pull cards, but I primarily channel. So a lot of times my spirit guides just tell me what's going on. Like I just feel it and I hear it. Um, or I get, you know, dreams or whatever. Like it just comes to me. So I already know what's going on. So Sorry, that's why I haven't been pulling the cards, but I will pull some cards as well for those of you that like that visual. But anyway, I feel like there's something shady going on with, um, right now there's something shady going on. So like I said, there was the cheating that happened in the past, but I'm also feeling, okay, so for some, I feel like 
the karmic and masculine are going through like a divorce process and the karmic is trying to get money that came through so strongly when I was channeling these messages. I kept hearing like money. There's something with money. There's something with money. There's something with finances. And what I'm thinking is that she's wanting a high payout for like the alimony. Like she has, there also might be some like illegal, I keep getting like forged signatures. So there might be some illegal stuff. So for like those of you that are like in the process of like your person or you are in the process of like going through divorce, check your divorce papers. Like this is for someone specific. So this might not, this probably is not for all of you. It's just for a couple of you. Um, could be someone all the way in Tennessee for all I know. You know what I mean? But, um, I don't know. I'm hearing Tennessee and Minnesota. This is just for a couple of you. Like I said, there's there's several people in this energy group. But anyway, I just keep hearing something about forged divorce papers where it's like she has a shady lawyer that she's I don't know if she's this this karmic fucks around like she like she she's more of a hoe than the masculine realizes she has sex to she might have she might have STDs. Honestly, she might have some STDs. I hate to say it because I was I was watching another reader that was getting that and I was like, damn, that resonates so much. That just resonates. I kept seeing that and I kept I've seen it in other readers too saying that same thing. And I looked into it a little bit and I'm like, yeah, not for all of you, but for some. Um, she does have something going on there. But um But yeah, because I'm getting that she screws around like it's it's not quite prostitution energy, but it's like the energy of someone that will just seduce and have sex and like just to get what they want, like just kind of like a sociopathic energy. Like she doesn't really she just doesn't care. I don't even know. It's like she doesn't have that self-respect to not do that. You know what I mean? It's like it's honestly it's kind of sad. It really is kind of sad when you think about it. But for some, I'm getting that, God, what is this energy? I'm getting that like the lawyer might be on her side more, but because she's screwing around or because she's paying him or she's doing something. So for those of you that are in the midst of a divorce, check your divorce papers. Okay. Go online. If there's like online, if you can find it online, check your divorce papers, just make sure. And then there might not be anything going on. It might be fine. This might just be for a couple people that are, you know, all the way in other states or whatever. This could be anywhere. This could be people in, that are not even in the United States. I don't know. But just for a couple select people, I'm getting that she's, she like forged, there, I keep hearing like forged signatures. Like she like, like signed something pretending to be the masculine. Um, or she's trying to like edit, like amend the divorce papers to like get more money. Um, and I think this is probably what's going to get her prison time. This could be what's going to get her prison time is that this is going to, this could come out. Um, so hopefully if she has not done that, then she knows better not to. I don't think she could. I think if she, I think it's either one of those situations where she's either done it already or like, she's just not going to be able to, like she, she would get caught before we even worked. Like someone would rat her out or like she would, he would catch someone, something would happen where she would be screwed like that. Like she would like be in jail within a month, like in prison within a month, like that kind of energy where it's like she wouldn't even be able to get away with it. But for for a couple select few of you, she's already done something like that with the divorce papers. And it could be to get more money or something. I'm not sure. There's something about that, like where she might be trying to get more money. The other story I'm getting, and like, and like I said, that's not going to work for her. It's, see, like I said, I think that, I think that she's already, for a lot of you, I think that the karmic has already done something illegal. And I honestly feel like her, a lot of spirit guides are kind of on the fence about whether she should get caught and go to prison for that. They're kind of on the fence with that. So it's kind of like, they're kind of watching. It's like, and she doesn't even realize it, but she has these spirits around her 24 seven. She cannot escape them. She cannot hide her thoughts from them. They watch her 24 seven to see what she's going to think, what she's going to do, what her energy is going to be on any given day. 
And so they're kind of divided right now if she should go to jail for this or not. So like I said, that's the energy I keep getting where it's like, okay, she could probably change it, but if she, she would have to get started now on balancing out her karma and, you know, developing good karma again and balancing out all that bad karma that she's accumulated by being such a toxic person. So, so yeah, there is still some chance for her to, to avoid jail time, like to, for this to not get found out, but it's almost like maybe she would have to come clean and do the right thing. Like she would have to like confess or she would have to, um, what is that energy? Cause I just heard truth. I just heard truth and honesty. Like she would have to like like go back and like change the divorce papers or something to like what it was originally supposed to be between them or like tell him she did it. And I think like, you know, he might, maybe he would work with her and, you know, something like that where it's like, like this divorce is happening for those of you that are like wondering, like, are they getting divorced? Are they staying together? They're getting divorced. That's divinely guided. Like that's going to happen. The The spirit guides are going to make sure that happens. Um, no matter what, like that's just, they're going to get divorced. They're, the divorce is happening. But for some, it's like, there's something. I just keep getting forged signatures or something illegal. And it's like, if she comes clean and she makes things right, she confesses, she moves on, lets the masculine go, manifests her own true love, balances out her karma. Maybe she'll be okay. Maybe she can avoid that jail time. But if she continues to go, if she... Because if... there's something that's going to be exposed no matter what she does. And she's going to try so hard to hide it. She's going to try. She's going to try to suck some dick to hide it, honestly, is the energy I get. She's going to try to do whatever to hide it. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work. It's going to be exposed. This could, It could be exposed in a number of ways. I can see so many different ways that this could be exposed, but it's going to be exposed. So it's like, might be better to come clean. Because I think that her spirit guides too will see, like, like I said, there's not, she doesn't have anyone really working with her right now. There's some spirit guides that are kind of sad because they actually wanted her to, wanted to see her do better this lifetime, but they're really disappointed in her. So they're not really helping her. They're just kind of like, damn, really? This is what you chose this lifetime? Really? You want to, you want to see where this road takes you? It's not going to be pretty for you. But I'm just getting like, cause I keep getting honesty, truth, you know, justice, Justice will be served either way, whether it's this all coming to light and the masculine finding out on his own or someone telling him or the lawyer, you know, getting caught or something, or she's going to confess. And if she confesses, it's actually going to be a lot better for her because her spirit guide, like, you know, all the spirit guides around her, around him, around everybody are going to be like, okay, she tried to do the right thing at least, you know, and that she's less likely to go to jail if that happens or her, her sentence will at least be reduced. And, and I feel like if she keeps up with the lies, like I could see her having a much longer sentence. Like I said, it was like, okay, six months or six years in jail, you choose. It could, you know what I mean? Like how, how much of a hold do you want to dig yourself into? It's, it, you know what I mean? But, um, but yeah, truth is going to be real either way. I can tell you guys that for those of you that are worried about it, it's, it's truth is coming out no matter what. Um, that truth is just going to be revealed. And it's like, she can't hide it. She just, she's going to try so hard. I keep getting that energy. It's like, she's going to try so hard and she's going to make it worse. And she's going to piss off beings that she does not want to piss off if she tries to, to keep up with the manipulation and the lies. She's going to piss off some beings she really doesn't want to piss off. God, I'm getting some, I'm, uh, this energy. Cause I heard hell, I heard hell and I'm not one of those like, Oh, like you're going to go to hell if you do this and this. I'm like, I'm not God. I'm not one to say, but I heard, I heard hell. And that might just mean like hell on earth. Like her life is going to be, if she tries to fuck this masculine over, if she tries to do anything else, like her life is going to end up being hell on earth. Like she's going to be like like in prison or she's gonna be like homeless or like something bad like just like 
Because I, bl- I do believe that, you know, hell and heaven are on earth and this karmic is kind of choosing right now if she wants to make her life heaven or she wants to make her life hell. And if she wants her life to be hell on earth, then she can keep holding on to the masculine. She li- if she wants her life to be heaven, if she wants it to be, you know, better, she can manifest her own true love and leave this divinely guided couple be let him move on, let him be free. Because he's already moved on spiritually, emotionally, mentally. He already doesn't want her. He already does not love her. You know what I mean? So it's just more like a matter of like physically letting him move on and letting him be happy and, and you know, have this life that he's meant to have with, with his divine feminine. And when she stops trying to block other people's destinies, that's when her own destiny comes in where it's like the divine will give her what she's destined to have. But it's, isn't it perfect karma that she's blocking this divine couple? She's trying to block this divine couple's destiny and she's not going to be able to, but she can cause some bumps here and there, you know, but you know, isn't it perfect karma? It's like, she's trying to, to block this divinely guided couple and their destiny and in the process it's actually you know she can't block their destiny and also in return she's blocking her own destiny she's blocking the good things that were in store for her this lifetime it's like she's she's losing these things it's like a little kid like screaming and crying and their mom saying you're gonna have a five minute timeout when you get home you're gonna have a 10 minute timeout okay keep crying it's gonna be an hour and she's like she's calling the bluff she's like no you're not you're not gonna put me on timeout Little does she know, little does that, does that little kid know, once they get home, they're in timeout, they're in the bathroom, they're against the wall, they're screwed. You know what I mean? It's like that kind of energy where it's like, okay, spirit guides aren't bluffing. They're not bluffing. They really aren't. They are not bluffing. <laughs> but anyway, I want to get to the original point of this. Well, that was one of the messages, actually, that was coming through strong, is that there's something there for some of you with the divorce papers. There's something that she's trying to do or something she's thinking about doing, um, something she, some, kind of, some kind of sneaky energy there. I almost feel like the masculine might be forgiving if he knew like he might actually that might be why she would be able to avoid jail time because it's like if he finds out the hard way which it's going to happen either way he's going to find out the truth he's going to be pissed and he's going to want her to go to jail but if she confesses and she's like you know what I screwed up I like I want to move on I want you to move on like I'm done we'll just be amicable like I'm going to respect your boundaries like you know I, I did this I think that he might actually forgive her and I might actually help her cover it up or he might like you know what I mean? Like he might just be like, okay, well, you know what? You change the papers now. Like you call the lawyer, you make this right right now. And we'll pretend like this didn't happen, but you know, never again. Like, no, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, this is coming out either way. The truth is going to be revealed no matter what. So the main message, which I want to get to, I'm so, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh gosh so many messages that are coming through all at once. I'm like, all right, spirit guides, hold on a sec. Let me, let me focus on one thing. So the other message I get, I'm getting is that there's a karmic that wants an, a higher payout, a higher alimony. So she's wanting the masculine to work a certain job or do something to have that big payout for her. So there's a masculine, because remember, okay, so remember this whole video, I keep saying like there's cheating, there's something with cheating, I keep getting that very strongly. There's something with cheating and the masculine does not know that the karmic cheated in the past. Like I said, I don't feel like for most of you, I don't think that your person is with them. I know the karmic might have said otherwise, she might have tried to, she maybe tries to put this, this front on. But I'm just getting like, they're not actually together. There's, there's nothing romantic going on there. But... I honestly feel kind of bad for these karmics. I really do. Cause it's like, gosh, she like, she's screwing her own life up. It's like, dude, like you could have like true love. Like you could have your actual person. You could have the money. Like this, this karmic is so money hungry. And it's like, dude, if you manifest like your actual true love and let go of this karmic cycle, let go of the karmic masculine. You have true love. You have money. Like you can have this other, this money with this other financially abundant man. Cause I sense two men that make a lot of money. 
I kept hearing like maybe like around like 10k a month or something like some some large sum of money I don't know how much exactly but I keep hearing like two men that make around the same amount of money and it's like she could have this other man that that if she hasn't manifested him yet like it's coming in you know what I mean like or it's meant to come in if she doesn't screw herself up but this other man is just as financially abundant as this this masculine that she's trying to hold on to you know what I mean and I honestly feel like this other man might be more financially abundant than the masculine she's been trying to hold on to. So it's like, you really want to fuck that up for yourself for someone that you don't love, that doesn't love you, that is not even as financially stable as this other person's going to be? Like, because this, like, this karmic just cares about money. So that's why I'm like, like, you can have that. Like, you can have someone that has that money. Like, her person has a lot of money is what I'm feeling, like her true love. But then there's this other masculine that, that has a lot of money. But I, I see him going through some financial struggles. This is a divine masculine. I do see him going through some financial struggles in the future. So, and what I'm feeling here is it's like... She's trying to get a high alimony payout with the... So if they're going through a divorce, she's trying to get that, that alimony money. So she's wanting... She wants the divine masculine screwed over. So I almost feel like she is going to try to get him fired or she knows she has the hookup to get him fired, if that makes sense. Because I'm just getting like, because I remember I saw that I got the shady lawyer. I got like some kind of shady person that was trying to help her. And it's like for every shady person she has helping her physically, she has there's a hundred spirit guides that are against her that are just holding all her bad intentions. waiting to screw her over with this if she keeps it up, you know, waiting just waiting to mess her up like it's it's like all it's just like it's a sad it's sad it's honestly is sad and I'm not even I'm not even saying it to be a bitch it is sad because it's like everyone involved in this situation could be happy they could have their destinies and it's like this divinely guided couple is gonna have their destiny they're gonna be together but this karmic is gonna live like a sad life if she keeps it up and it's like I don't wish that on the karmic like I hope she does go towards her destiny. I hope she does have a happy life with the person that's actually meant for her. I hope that she does balance her karma out and develop good karma so she, that she can be intuitive so that her spirit, you know what I mean? Like, I hope that she does get on the same page because it's like the entire universe is against her right now. So it's like, you know, I hope that she does fix her karma. I really hope, I hope, you know, you know what I mean? But anyway, so what I feel is like, okay, so I'm, I'm getting these two men. I just keep getting, okay, I keep getting cheating. I'm sorry. I know when I channel, it's, it's chaotic sometimes. I'm sorry. So I'm getting these two men. I'm getting this, this karmic. Cause I keep, okay. So I'm getting like, almost like a, like a, like a board where I get these little visuals where it's like the karmic's true love is actually someone that's going to be consistently financially stable. And she's money hungry. So she's trying to get this alimony money from this um, man that she's divorcing. So she wants him to be making a lot of money because I think that this shady lawyer is kind of trying to help her out or there's something, there's something sneaky going on behind the masculine's back where like she's going to try to make it so that she gets a certain amount of money from him, like be it monthly or a large payout. But then after that, she plans on screwing him over. She plans on getting him fired from his job or she plans on teaming up with this other masculine to get him fired. Like, so she's doing some shady shit to try to get a high alimony. So honestly, like, the masculine would almost be better just quitting this job now and, and saying screw it and moving on from it. Because I feel like, I just feel like financial struggles, but the masculine, this masculine, okay, so I got this in the other reading the other day too, where I did see some financial struggles for him, but he's going to be okay and he's going to rebuild. He's going to rebuild, like either he's going to find a new job that pays more or he's going to rebuild his company or his business on his own and he's going to be okay. There's something like that. So this is like, this is like one of those situations where it's like you, the masculine needs to leave and not let her get that high alimony from him, not get that big payout that she's wanting because there's two people, there's a masculine and a feminine energy. That's trying to fuck this divine masculine over. Now this is someone that she's seducing to try to screw with him. Um, 
she's manipulating this man. She's maybe telling them like, oh, we're going to be together or like she's having sex with him or she's doing something with this with this man to try to screw this um, this divine masculine over because she wants that alimony money. There's something going on for some of you. It's like she might be sleeping with her lawyer and seducing her lawyer to try to get that high alimony for others i feel like she's actually messing around or talking to the divine masculine's business partner or co-worker because business partner co-worker someone like in that in that field came through so strongly that energy um like she's seducing someone behind his back is what I'm getting. There's a lot. There's so much going on behind the masculine's back. And he feels it. His intuition is coming through because he went through a dark night of the soul and he's going through a psychic rebirth. And she, the karmic knows that he's going through a psychic awakening. And she can't do shit about it because his spirit guides are telling him what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, he knows. He knows. The truth is going to come out. And like I said, she can, If she, the more she tries to manipulate, because I think that she kind of feels like she can hide from these spirits. I kind of get the energy where she feels like, you know, if she like plots and she just doesn't say it out loud or something, the spirits won't know. Like, no, they know. They feel your energy. They feel your heart, your soul. They know what you're thinking. They know what you're plotting. You're, you're digging yourself into a hole. You know what I mean? Like, you're only hurting yourself. You're not hurting this divine couple. You're hurting yourself. The karmic is hurting herself. It's very, it's honestly sad. Like I do feel empathy for the karmic as, as toxic as the karmics are. I do feel empathy for them. I do feel like some kind of sadness for them because it's like the karmic has this like last chance. Like these, like I said, it's only like a few months or less, maybe six months max for some where they can get their everything right and they can do the right thing or their entire life is going to be screwed up. Like it's just, it's a sad energy. It, it really is sad though. Um, it's sad because there's a much more beautiful path that was meant for the karmic that they still have this last chance to go down, but that it's like that door is closing. You know what I mean? Like that they have a very limited amount of time to go through that door and go on that path that they were that, that good karma that they could have this lifetime that they're meant that they were meant to have this lifetime. Um, they have to balance their karma out soon. They really do. And they can't hide from spirits. They can't manipulate spirits. They know the spirits know what's up. They know what, what, no matter what she says, like, they know where her heart and soul is at. You know what I mean? Like, they know the energy. Spirits go off energy. They don't go off what, what you know what I mean? Like, if she's crying and she's saying, I want to get right, I want to do this, I want to do that. If in her, if her energy is still of manipulation and control, like, she still has that strong desire to manipulate people, they're going to feel that. And they're not going to listen to a single word she's saying. They're not going to, they're not. you know what I mean? Like, they're going to feel her energy. They're going to feel if it's genuine or not. They're going to feel her out. They're not going to. You can't manipulate spirits. You just can't. You can't lie to spirits. It's just, it's not going to work. And they're going to be pissed if you do. If you try to lie to spirits, they're going to be pissed off. It's not going to happen. But anyway, okay. Alimony. Yes, alimony. There's something with the alimony where she's sleeping with the lawyer or she's seducing the lawyer or she's, she's doing something to try to get that alimony, to try to get that alimony payout. Or she might be telling the masculine, like, well, I mean, he doesn't even love her, so I don't know how this would work, but she might be telling him, like, oh, like, you know, make that money for our future. I don't care about money. I just want that money for, you know, like, for our future, for, you know what I mean? It's like he doesn't even want a future with her, but maybe he, maybe in the past he thought that she had good intentions. I think that he already sees the truth. I think he already knows that she's money hungry. Like, she knows that. I mean, he knows that. She knows that he knows. <laughs> Like she, you know, intuitively, like, you know, there's no, there's no more secrets here. This is, this truth is being exposed either way. But yeah, there's something with the alimony. God, this energy is so like, it's just, it's a lot coming through all at once. Divine masculines, you are protected and safe. Same with divine feminines. Your your relationship is safe. Your love is safe. You know, you're good. You're good. All these shakeups in the masculine's life were meant to get him on his on path with his destiny. You know what I mean? So he's he might be going through a lot right now, but it's like he's going through a lot because these things are no longer serving him and his spirit guides love him. Like this masculine has so much love and, and guidance and protection around him. 
Like, his spirit guides really... And he doesn't think he deserves it, but it's like he does. He really does. And he knows that now. I think he's, he, he realizes it now. He realizes that there's these spirits around him that just want to help him. You know what I mean? Um, but it's like, it's like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of chaos. It's like, you know, karmic endings, like karmic cycles, like finding out your, your father or mother betrayed you or your, your business partner, your friend betrayed you or like all this chaotic energy and the masculine's like what what like all this truth being revealed and the masculine's probably upset about it but at the same time I think part of him knows intuitively like this is meant to happen like this was this had to be shaken up the divine is shaking this up divine intervention because they want the masculine to know the truth they want the masculine they are devoted to the masculine knowing the truth about everybody the karmic the divine feminine or divine masculine, the um, the the shady coworkers or business partners, friends, family, everything. The blindfold is being taken off, and it's not being taken off to hurt the masculine. I feel like that. You know, at first, I think the masculine was kind of like, "Oh, life is screwing me over. Like, why, 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 why?" And now he's like, "Wait a minute. Like, no, this truth is being shown to me because my spirit guides love me. They don't want me to live my life blindfolded. They want me to take the blindfold off, so I can see the truth around me and I can make these necessary changes." And leave behind toxic people. And, you know, what I was saying in, the, in that other reading is for some that the, 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 the uh, masculine has a best friend that's super toxic and, like, competitive and controlling and manipulative. And when he lets go of that toxic best friend, he actually has a new best friend coming in that's going to be, like, just healthy. Like, healthy competition. Healthy like, they're going to be able to talk. They're going to be able to have fun together. They're going to be able to... I see them, like, going out together and stuff and, like, doing stuff and just talking and being open with each other. Like, because with this best friend, like, the, the masculine knows he can't be... Trust, he can't trust this best friend. Like, he can't, like... He can't tell him anything. He knows there's something shady going... Like, he feels it. He feels something's off intuitively. And with this other best friend, it's like he's... When, when he lets go of the karmic best friend, he's going to have a new best friend that's, like, his soul brother his soul brother or like soul sister or something kind of energy is what I'm getting. Um, and this could be for some of you. Maybe you have someone like maybe you're a feminine watching and you have a best friend that you know is toxic and you have like someone else that's wanting to come in. that's going to be like a sister to you, you know, so take it as it resonates. But, but I see like a, like a brother coming in for this masculine that's going to support him. So it's like, he's afraid of letting all these things go because of the unfamiliar. He's like, well, what, what's, what if I let this best friend go? Who's going to be my best friend? It's like the divine already has someone in store. You know what I mean? Like, same with, like, the karmic. It's like when he, you know, when he ends these karmic cycles, it's like he has his divine feminine. He has her waiting here for him. He has her support and her love behind the scenes. Like, he has this divinely guided connection, this true love, this life partner that he's meant to be with. You know, same for the, the company or the business or the job that he, you know, is falling apart. When he lets go of it, he's going to be building his own business, his own company, or he's going to be like, there might be some financial struggle like for a little while, but then he's going to rebuild and he's going to be the king of pentacles and he's going to have like, you know, more just financial abundance. He's going to have like, like a new job or new career or just new things coming into play. It's like, you know, these things aren't being shaken up and taken out of his life to hurt him. These things are being shaken up and taken out of his life because the higher beings want more for him. They want him to be happy. They want him to find, they want him to have true love. They want him to have his own, you know, a new career, a new company, whatever. They want him to have like, like just abundance. So it's like these things are being taken off, taken away from him to, to bless him. You know what I mean? Like it's a blessing in disguise. Like the truth is being revealed so that he can make changes and have a much better life than he ever thought he could have. You know, he's meant to have a really good life with the divine feminine is what I'm getting. But, um, but yeah, so what I'm getting, okay, so what I'm feeling here is, so something, I'm sorry, I know I have all these random messages coming through, you guys, you guys are probably like, bitch, just get to the point, get to the point, bitch. Okay, I'm sorry. So, so with the alimony, yeah, that's right. I just see two men, and like I said, the, the karmic is, is hustling this other guy behind the scenes seducing him maybe having sex with him cheating this could be the masculine's friend this could be this could be the masculine's friend there could be like some sexual stuff going on behind his back he doesn't even know about and it's like he doesn't even want the karmic so it's like not like it matters but it's like he might be like he might know someone that's like screwing around with the karmic and he has no idea 
or like maybe he just like his body language feels bad around this person like he feels like he can't trust this person i really feel like this might be his best friend or a very close friend of his or a business partner that is working with the karmic that is what i keep getting and like i said once he realizes the truth and he lets this this best friend go he has a new best friend that's going to come in and he once he you know once the karmic is done too he has his divine feminine he has all of the things that he's losing are going to be replaced all of like the money that he's going to lose in this it's it's going to be replaced tenfold like he's going to be blessed beyond belief like he's going to you know, this is like triple digit kind of money. Like he's gonna, he's gonna have that money come back. He might go through a period of financial struggle as he rebuilds. It might not be overnight, but I see like within like a, a year or two, he's going to be back to where he wants to be financially. He's going to be good, but I'm really feeling like, okay, so what I keep getting is that there's something with the alimony. There's something shady going on with the alimony and take it as it resonates. Cause it might be like a little bit different. It might be di different variations for each person here, but it's the same energy group, but it comes through so strongly. There's something with the alimony. There's something with the alimony. Because I feel like, and like I said, for some, and it could even be that she's fucking around with a lawyer and she's messing around with his business partner or his best friend or a close friend of his. Because I'm getting like, she wants a high alimony. And that's the thing. This is another way that she's screwing herself over. Because I keep, I keep hearing like $30,000. I don't know what that's about. Like $30,000. 30, 30, 30 keeps coming into my mind. 30, 30, 30. Um, the thing is though, so like what I'm kind of feeling is that this business partner or this, this friend or coworker of, of the masculines is basically messing around with the karmic behind the masculine's back and she's seducing him. And she's, there's some kind of reporting going on here too. I'm going to get into that in a minute, but she's seducing him because she wants the masculine working this job because she wants a high alimony because the, like I said, there's something shady going on with a lawyer as well. And so she knows that if he's working, if she, if he's making a lot of money at the time the divorce is finalized, she's going to get that high alimony payout. Like I, cause I keep hearing 30,000 or something like something about 30 K and this isn't for everyone. This is for, but there's, it's similar energy. So like take it as it resonates. It might be like pretty much the same story, but like a little couple variations might be a little bit different, but, um, but there's like something about like a large chunk of money that she's trying to get out of this. What the masculine doesn't know is that this business partner or this coworker or this manager and the karmic are plotting and they, they're, she's telling him that they're going to be together when the divorce is finalized or she's giving him sex or whatever. But what this, what this masculine doesn't know is that they're both planning on getting him fired once that alimony money comes in. Once the alimony money comes in, they're planning on getting him fired. Once the alimony comes in, they're planning on getting him fired. It's like he's trying to hold on to this job right now. And he doesn't know that this money he's making is, is basically the karmic is trying to take it. Or someone's trying to take this money. There's something shady and weird going on here. And the thing is, though, like the karmic does not want to see him happy. So she's probably saying like, oh, yeah, just just focus on work for, for me or for, for whatever, like like pretending like she has his best interest at heart. But it's really she's just money hungry and power hungry. But I really feel like once it wants this alimony money or whatever money this is that someone's trying to get. Once this money. Um, once she's gotten that check. I feel like the the manager, the, the business partner is planning on firing the masculine. He's basically keeping him on because she's asking, she's asking the business partner or the manager or whoever she's sucking some dick over here. And she's saying, you know, keep him on because I need that alimony, alimony money. Like we'll split the money. There could also be something going on with forged signatures. It might not just be with a lawyer or it might, it might, you know, take it as it resonates. She might be having someone forge signature, forge his signatures, or he, there's something, there's something going on where there's a masculine and a feminine energy that are, that are conspiring to fuck this masculine over. 
Because I'm also hearing forged signatures. So there might be some shady paperwork or some illegal stuff going on. There's some weird stuff. And they think they're not going to get caught. But honestly, if they keep if they keep up trying to fuck this man over, they're going to get caught. But this masculine is not meant to work this job, though, either anyway. So it's going to fall apart no matter what. But I mean, if they keep trying to, like take all his money or whatever, then they're going to, then, then this one, they're, they're going to get screwed. You know what I mean? Like it almost be better for him to like not work this job now and just move on than it would be to continue working this job because she's just going to try to get all that money from the alimony. I hope that's making sense. I know I'm channeling a lot of weird stuff today. There's a lot coming through. I know it's kind of chaotic, but, um, but yeah, it's like something about like, he has to be making a large amount of money at a certain time. There's like something with like a timeline where it's like he has to be making a large amount of money at like the time they sign papers, like maybe the masculine and the karmic are about to sign some papers or something. There's something going on or maybe he I don't know. There's just something where she's trying to get a large payout from this. Where she's trying to get that like I think it's alimony money or it could be like child support or something. She's trying to get some kind of huge payout here. It's some kind of financial payout. And, um, but yeah, I'm just getting that he doesn't, he doesn't realize that like they're planning on, he's, he's, this job is going to be lost anyway. They're planning on firing him anyway. Once this comes through, once the, um, once, like once that it, it's almost like it's just something that has to happen at a certain timeline, basically. And once she gets that money, She's going to laugh in his face and she's going to be like, okay, I got the alimony check. Go ahead and fire him or go ahead. And it could be a coworker and she's going to be like, go ahead and like lie to your manager and say that he did this and this and this so that he, he'll get fired. Could be like a shady coworker that doesn't have this masculine's best interest at heart. Something, something going on here. Basically, yeah, a, a karmic messing around with um, a, another guy that the masculine is close to or knows and they're, they're plotting to fuck the masculine over. Because like I said, I think the karmic is um I mean I think that this I think this mass this this other guy is kind of smitten with the karmic and I think that she offers sexual favors but I think that he's she might be also offering him some money like she might be saying hey I'll split the alimony or I'll split I'll split the the child support payments with you or something if you do this I'll split this money with you they're they're basically they're just both money hungry toxic people that are plotting against the masculine. And I know that that's probably disheartening, but it's like this, there's the blindfolds being taken off for a reason so that the masculine can see that this, this karmic and the, these, these friends are toxic. Like these people are toxic. And this, you know, this, this masculine isn't meant to work this job anymore. This is meant to be released because the divine wants more for him. They want him to have a new best friend, someone that's going to be healthy. They want him with a divine feminine who's going to be his life partner and going to be supporting him more than anyone ever has. They want him to have this, this family with her. They want him to have, you know, his own business, his own career, standing on his own, loving himself. They want to see him love himself more. There's, um, could be like a grandma figure or like an ancestor, female ancestor that really is supporting the masculine too, that wants to see him doing a lot better and loving himself more. But it's like the masculine doesn't realize like, yeah, it might be chaotic. There might be some financial struggle, but he's, he's going to be okay. He's going to get through this and he's going to rebuild and the company that he's going to build or the new job or new career or whatever it is, this new energy is going to be more financially abundant than this other old job with this toxic male figure is. Like he's going to have more money coming to him once he lets this go and he moves on and he starts his own path with the divine feminine too. Like these are all blessings as toxic and chaotic and as scary as it might feel for the masculine in the present moment. These are all blessings in disguise. This is all coming up so the masculine can see the truth and make these life changes and cut these toxic people and toxic karmic cycles out and um you know have the life he's meant to have with the divine feminine with you know he's meant to be financially abundant he's meant to be the king of pentacles he's meant to have this abundance even if there's a period of financial struggle just a little bit not like a long period just you know not quite as not not having quite as many much money as he's used to but honestly it's going to be fairly quick when he starts rebuilding his company and and going on his own he's going to have more money coming in and i think the divine feminine had to come into his life when she did because he wouldn't have acknowledged these truths otherwise. He wouldn't have, 
he wouldn't have ended these karmic cycles otherwise. He was stuck. So the divine feminine needed to come in and shake things up and get him to see the truth and get him to end these karmic cycles and get him to realize how toxic the karmic is and how toxic these friends are, how toxic can be toxic family so that he can make these life changes. You know, he needed her emotional and spiritual support to get on his destined path. And his destined path is beautiful. It's he has a family with his divine feminine. He's going to have a family with her. He's meant to have a family with her. He is meant to have money. He is meant to have abundance. He is meant to have the new home, the new car, everything he can imagine with her. If he's willing to make these life changes and let go of these toxic people and toxic cycles and, and toxic karmic energies, he it might be scary being in limbo and, and having this unfamiliar energy, but he has more blessings coming to him than he can even imagine if he's willing to step out of his comfort zone and take this leap of faith towards a new and better life. It's it's beautiful energy. But um but yeah, there's just, okay, so there's just some, there's something with the alimony. I really feel like this could be a business partner of his or like a best, like a, like a close friend or a business partner or a coworker or some, something. Cause there's something with finances. Cause I keep seeing this, this karmic going to this other man to fuck this man over financially. That's what makes me think it's something with finances because why does this other man have, have that ability to, um, to screw this man over financially? Unless this is like a situation where it's like someone that's holding the masculine's money or something, but it's like there's some kind of financial connection between these two men and I'm getting them both making a large sum of money. So I'm feeling like they're probably business partners. They're probably in the same line of work or they, the coworkers or business, business partners is what's coming through strongly. Something with that, some kind of work, some kind of work connection there. So she is basically seducing this man to try to get more money. And she's saying, hey, like, just keep him on or whatever. Or just keep, give him a lot of work or make him work a lot or whatever. Like, I need his income. Give him a lot of hours at work or something like that because I need his income to be high, you know, because I'm talking to my lawyer right now and, and that's how we're going to get a high alimony payout or high child support payout or something, some kind of payout. And she's like, hey, just do this and I'll keep being sexual with you. I'll keep being, um, I'll keep being, uh, like I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll give you some of this money, some of this payout, you know, so whatever I'll, I'll give you, but be it a big payout or a monthly payout. She's like, I'm going to give you some of this money. Like they're, they're trying to financially screw this man over basically. And, um, the sad thing is for the karmic too, is I honestly feel like she's going to lose money by doing this because her financial payout would be bigger in the long run, if she doesn't try to take this masculine's money, like I'm getting like she might get a large chunk of money, but she's going to blow it probably pretty quickly because she's not good at saving money. But I'm also getting like with this other man that she's meant to be with. Whoever this other man is, whether she's met him or not, he's very financially abundant and like she'd be making more money with him. She'd be they'd be making money together or she'd have like a like a business opportunity or some kind of financial opportunity that she's meant to have where she'd actually be making a lot more money than she would if she tries to screw this masculine over. So it's like, it's like, I see her like possibly getting a lot of money from him, but it's like, it's going to be sh like from the masculine, but it's like, it's going to be short lived. It's going to be like, she blows it or something, you know? Um, or like she ends up going to jail or something for doing something shady. So she loses the money anyway. Whereas if she gets on her destined path, I feel like she could actually be making more money in the long run. Like she could make her own money or she'd be with this financially abundant man that makes more money than this other guy does in the first place. So she would have the money that she wants if she just doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, but like I said, I get that this masculine is meant to, um, is meant to lose this job either way, whether it's now or a month or two months from now, this job is not going to continue on for him because he's meant to go down his own path and have his own career. And he's going to be more financially abundant by doing so. You know what I mean? Even, even if there's a period of like where he has to save money and it's not what he's used to, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a short period. And then he's going to be back on his feet financially. He's going to be good. He's going to have like a new, I just see like a new job or a new career or like starting his own business. And he's going to have coworkers that he can actually trust, like people around him that are actually going to be like decent, empathetic, good people, like genuine people. 
So keep that in mind. It's like all this energy is just coming up to be released, like, to, you know, to release these karmic cycles, these toxic people, these toxic energies. The truth is coming out so that the masculine can make these changes because the divine, the spirit guides want more for him. They want him to be happy. They want him to be successful. And he's never going to be successful if he keeps being tied down to these stagnant situations that are that he knows intuitively are going nowhere. It's like he's trying to fight the, this tidal wave that's coming in. It's just like, just let the tidal wave come in and, and flood all these toxic energies out. And you're going to have this like rebirthing process where you have all these good energies and these this new best friend, this, this true love, this family abundance, all kinds of good energy, financial abundance to everything you could ever dream of coming in for you once you let go of these toxic cycles and toxic people. And you really fully acknowledge this truth instead of trying to put the blindfold back on when your spirit guides keep taking the blindfold off of you keep the blindfold off, go through it. Even if it's, you know, upsetting, go through it. And you're going to be, you're going to find yourself, you know, give it, give it a little bit of time and you're going to find yourself happier than you've ever been in your life with your divine feminine and more financially abundant than you were with this other situation. You know what I mean? It's like, you're holding on. It's almost like, um, and I'm, I'm pagan, but I do believe in God and Jesus, but it's almost like I see this have you guys seen that meme where it's like this this little girl or this little boy is holding on to this little tiny teddy bear and like I think it's like Jesus or like God or something is there and they have this giant teddy bear in store for them and this little kid is like but I want to but I like this teddy bear and it's like dude if you see what's in store for you if you see what like God or Jesus or gods and goddesses angels whatever have, have behind their back in store for you you're going to want to let go of that those little bread comes that little teddy bear that little toxic job toxic best friend toxic situation you're going to have more abundance than you could ever imagine you're going to have money love true everything you could want it's just on the other side of fear you just have to make these life changes and be willing to acknowledge the truth and let these toxic people go and it's like your, your divine feminine is here for you. You know what I mean? I think the divine masculine might also be trying to hide something from the divine feminine. Like, but the divine feminine already knows and all is forgiven because they understand. They understand. They, they've channeled. They already know what's going on. I think some of them, like your, the divine masculine is, is hesitant reaching out because they're like, what if I tell her this? How is she going to react? Because I keep getting that energy. And it's like, they already know. They already know what happened, but they know why it happened. They know, they know the situation. So that all is forgiven already. But, you know, the divine feminine I see is not, is only has so much patience. Like they do want this communication. They want this new start and they want this, um, some of you are already talking like some of you are already in communication like the karmic might not know it but you guys are already talking but um but yeah it's like for others I do feel like there's like a hesitation because there's like a fear like a I messed up kind of energy but it's like always already forgiven you know what I mean but you don't want to keep the divine feminine waiting either for those of you if you're masculine you know if it masculines that are keeping the divine feminine waiting I would not recommend that um but truth is coming out here. You know what I mean? Like truth, clarity, communication, all good energies here. But um, but yeah, what this masculine doesn't know is these two people are teaming up and they're planning on firing him once the alimony or child support or whatever. There's some kind of some kind of money going on, money laundering, or there's some kind of financial scheme here. And once that comes out, they're planning on firing him anyway. So it's actually probably in his best interest to just quit now. That way the karmic is not going to get that high payout. Because I, like I said, I feel like her lawyer might also be shady. So she might be getting a large sum of money. Where it's actually better if, he, if the masculine just quits this job now. That way when the paper, there's some kind of legal papers that are going to be finalized. Um, and once that happens, I just feel like. If he's not making a lot of money at the time, it's actually going to be best because then she's not going to be getting a lot of money from him. And that's going to be finalized. And then he's going to end up going on his own path and making his making more money on his own. And she's not going to be able to get that money because there's already going to be like a signed agreement in place and she can't touch that money because she's not meant, meant to touch that money. That's not her money. That's not meant to be for her. And she's going to screw herself over bad if she tries to take his money. She honestly is. So it'd be better to honestly just for the masculine just to quit this job now so that these two scheming people, this male and female, do not get all this money from him. Um, and then when, you know, like I said, he's going to rebuild. He's going to be able to save his money. Um, you know, he's going to be good. He's going to be financially abundant again. He's going to be okay going down his own path. Like, he's going to be 
with his divine feminine. He's going to, they're going to be financially abundant together. But, but yeah, like divine masculine should probably, if, if you know a job is falling apart, it's like, it's meant to fall apart because it's toxic. It's toxic people. You're meant to have more than this. You know what I mean? Like the divine has much better things in store for you. If you have that faith and trust in the universe, you know, Mm -hmm. but yeah, it's better for him to quit that job now. That way she doesn't get that high payout. She doesn't get that alimony or whatever money she's trying to get. It's better for him to be aware of this and quit this job now. And just because otherwise, if he doesn't, if he tries to hold on to this job, it's going to be like they're going to screw him over financially and they're going to get a large chunk of money from him or they're going to get some kind of um, it might not even be a large chunk. It might be like a monthly payment, like child support or um, court ordered. I keep hearing court ordered or like um, alimony or something like per month and it's going to be based on what he's making at the current time so like if he stays in this job and he thinks like oh look look I'm doing well I'm making all this money now like things are getting back on track at work no they're not because yeah you're getting a lot of clients you're getting a lot of business right now but all that money is going to end up going to her if you keep it if this if this goes through you know what I mean or a lot of it is at least. So like I said, it could be monthly payments and it's going to be based on the the amount of money that he's making at the time that um, they that someone signed some papers or the divorce is finalized or something of that sort. Um, so it's honestly better to for the masculine to save his money, quit this job now, cut your losses, cut these toxic people out, move on from it. And then the karmic is not going to get that much money because, you know, he's not going to be making anything. There's going to be no money to get because he's not going to be making that much money, you know, or he's going to be, you know, in between jobs or whatever. So he's not going to have that much money to give. So she's going to get a low payout or she's going to get like low, like 500 a month as opposed to like 2000 a month or something, you know. Um, And like I said, the masculine will go on to start his own business, his own career, his own, you know, have his own abundance. And she won't be able to touch that money because it will be after these papers have been signed. So that will be all his money to keep and to save. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So it's like, yeah, he does not want to be making a lot of money at the time that these papers are, whatever these papers are, what, what the, the time these papers go through. Um, and like I said, they're going to fire him anyway. Like this karmic is telling this, this, man that she's seducing his friend or coworker or business partner or whatever she's saying like we're going to be together once this divorce is over we're going to you know what i mean like or some or i'm going to give you a high payout or i'm going to work you know what i mean like she's basically plotting with him to um you know once once everything's finalized and she has that money because all she wants is money and appearance that's all she cares about she's very superficial once she has that, she doesn't even love the masculine. She doesn't love him. She just wants the money. She just wants the appearance. She just, she doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, don't, ugh, just, ill. But yeah, they're, 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 they're conspiring. So this masculine is going to get fired either way. It's better for him to quit and protect himself and his finances and not let her get that high alimony payout or high child support or, or monthly payments or whatever. Because like I said, it's going to be based on the amount of money he's making at the time. So it's better for him to quit the job now. So he's not making a lot of money in that current energy. And that way she won't get the high payout or the, the high monthly payments or whatnot. Um, and then, like I said, he can rebuild and he'll have his own business and she can't touch that money because it's going to be after those papers have been, you know, finalized or the divorce is finalized or whatever, whatever agreements in place there. And so he'll be making his own money and that will be all for him. That will be, you know what I mean? Like he'll be good. That will be for him. It's not, it's not, you know what I mean? It's going to be much better or the payments will be much lower per month or whatever. There's something, there's something weird going on there. But, um, But yeah, if he tries to wait and he tries to cling to this job, I just see that like when everything's finalized and she has the money and she splits it with this toxic male figure that's trying to fuck him over, then they're going to conspire and they're just going to fire him and he's going to be out and they're going to laugh at him. It's going to be, you know what I mean? It's a very toxic energy that I'm getting here. And then, and then he's going to lose more money in the long run because he's going to have to pay her that high amount because he's going to have been making a high amount at the time that all those papers and whatnot were finalized. So he's going to be having to pay her a high amount per month or whatever, or a high, you know, sum or, or, you know, payout or whatever. So it's much, much better for, um, for him to quit now 
and save his money and protect himself and, um, you know, instead of getting into this, this legal hole basically with her, you know, like, cause they're going to fire him anyway. They're planning on firing him anyway. Some of you, your business partner is super competitive with you and you don't know why. And it's because he's in love with the karmic. For some, the business partner or the, the coworker or this friend that you have is super competitive with the, with this masculine, this divine masculine energy, like super like competitive, super like defensive, super like you like you just get like a like weird vibes, even though you're like, this is my friend. Like, why can't I trust them? Why can I? Why did they seem so jealous of me? Why? Why this? Why that? It's because he's in love with the karmic. That's why. He's in love with this other woman. Some of you have no idea that these people, two people even know each other. Some of you don't even know. Some of you, the karmic, maybe like a year, two years ago, however long ago, just kind of snuck in over there and said, hey, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk behind the scenes. And they basically have been screwing this man over financially for a while is what I'm feeling. Like they said, hey, let's talk behind the scenes. And she's like... She knew she could seduce him. She she read him and she was like, I can seduce this man. I can get money. Um, this could even be a soulmate of hers, actually. Could be a soulmate. This might even, I don't know if it's the man that she's meant to be with or not, but it could be. Could be. But it's not going to happen if she ends up in jail. <laughs> she keeps screwing. If she keeps trying to mess with the masculine, his spirit guides are going to put her ass in jail. But there was some point where they talked and she was like, hey, like, like almost like she tested the waters to see where his loyalties lied. And she found out he was money hungry, just like she is. And so she knew that she'd be able, like, she kind of eased into it. Like, hey, like, you know, like, kind of like, I, I feel like she went down on him, too. I feel like there's some sexual stuff going on. A lot of sexual stuff going on here, too. Sexual favors for this guy. Um but I just feel like, yeah, like they've been plotting for a while. They've been plotting for a while. Um, not to worry, Divine Masculine, though, because honestly, you have a better best friend. Like I can feel that energy. You have like a pure, good best friend. That's going to be your lifelong best friend. This is another man that's around your same age. I see someone that's like dirty blonde hair for some of you, like longer dirty blonde hair. I think this is someone that you don't know yet, though. Um... But it's going to be someone that's like not your usual type of best friend. Like you have toxic patterns that you repeat where you're like attracted because you're so empathetic. You're attracted to toxic people. This person's going to be an empath. This man's going to be like a, like a, like a genuine, uh, what is that? Like, like healthy masculinity. And he's going to, he's going to help you through a lot of things. You guys are going to have a very deep friendship. So honestly, like letting go of this toxic best friend or toxic person, like what you have coming for you is so much better it's what you have in store for you is so much happier. Like this, this best friend that you have that you're meant to meet within the next six months or so or year or whatever, like soon, I see it happening pretty soon is like so much more just on your page. Like you're going to, you're gonna just going to have this, like this deep bromance is bromance is the word that's coming to mind. And you're going to know the energy difference because I feel like with this best friend, even though like you tell yourself you love them and whatnot, like you feel guarded around them. You feel competitive with them. You feel on edge with them. You feel like you can't tell them secrets. You feel weird with them because you intuitively know that they're toxic and you need to acknowledge that truth now. And with this healthy masculine man, you're, the masculine, you know, this best friendship that's meant to come in for the masculine, there's going to be like healthy competition, fun competition that you're going to feel the masculine's going to feel like he can tell his secrets to him. He can trust him. His body feels relaxed around him you know his intuition like his body's intuition it's, it's gonna feel so much different you're gonna be like wow this is so much better why did I ever want this toxic douchebag douche bag in my life this is not my best friend this is a toxic person so it's like trust me like what you're what the masculine letting go of like what you're letting go of like you have a million times better things like just way more abundance coming in for you so it's not if you could see the abundance the best friend the true love the new home every the new business everything that you have in store for you you you'd be so quick to let all this crap go. You'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to jump on this. And you're going to jump on it. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is happening. This is, this is meant for you. This is your, your destiny is really bright. It's, it's, you have a good future. You're meant to have more than what you're used to. You're meant to have more than these toxic, stupid situations. You're meant to have abundance and true love and success and, and, and financial abundance and everything you could ever want. 
for some, I also feel like, um, And for those that are asking, like, why didn't I see it? Why didn't I see it? You didn't see it because you're a good person. Like, you have a good heart and you wanted to see the best in people. And it's okay. This is a karmic lesson that you're going to learn from and you're going to move on from it. And you're going to do things differently next time around in these in this new path in your life. But you're not going to have to be as defensive anymore because you're going to, like I said, your best friend is going to be someone that's healthy and secure and, gen and like, genuine. So you're going to know the energy difference. You learned a lot from this, but this, these karmic cycles are meant to wrap up now so that you can have... Like this is all any bad karma has been paid. You have a lot of good karma in store for you. You have good things that are meant for you now. These karmic cycles are meant to end now so that you can have all this, these beautiful blessings that are in store for you with your divine feminine, everything that you could ever dream of, like just pure abundance in every area of your life, pure abundance in every area of your life. Trust me. I paused my phone for a second. I noticed it shook and I was like, it's like that tower moment. The tower is not bad. It's a blessing in disguise that's meant to come in and take the blindfold off and shake everything up to clear out what's not meant for you, what's not serving you, what's keeping you tied down so you can have the life that you're meant for. So you can have the abundance and happiness that you're meant for, you know? And your divine feminine is just right here on the other side of your fear. Your, your new best friend is on the other side of fear. Your new home is on the other side of fear. Your new career, your new business, your financial abundance is just on the other side of this fear. You know, just just jump over here. Just jump on over. It's time. <laughs> um, but I did want to go into a little bit more detail about these this power money hungry, you know, these two little snakes here, the karmic and the masculine's friend or coworker or business partner, whoever this is, that they're trying to get some money out of him. Um, like I said, my advice to the masculines would be like, you know, and some of you feminines might want to point your masculine to this video and let them know this warning if this is really resonating for you. This isn't for everybody, but if this is resonating, you might want to give him this warning because like I said, it's better for him to quit while he's ahead and leave this job behind so that they can't get this money. And like I said, he's going to be rebuilding and there might be some period of financial struggle, just a little bit. But like I said, he's going to be rebuilding and he's going to have, um, you know, more and more money coming in, but it's going to be his money. He's not going to have to give it to her if he's quitting the job now. Cause there's something, I just keep hearing something about like, if he, um, if he's like, she wants him to be making a lot of money at the time a certain paper is signed or something is finalized. She wants him to be making a lot of money because I think it's like divorce, like alimony or custody or child support, something like that, some kind of court legal issue or something. So don't be making a lot of money around the time that those papers or whatever it is is finalized or going through. Um, and like I said, yeah, it might seem like financially stressful at first. You're like, damn, like I don't want to give all this money up. But honestly, you're making more money in the long run because you're not going to have to be paying her so much per month and um or a large payout or whatever it is and then like I said you're going to be rebuilding I'm getting like six months like you're going to be rebuilding so it might be like a little bit not like major financial struggle but like you're not going to have as much money as you're used to you're still going to be okay like you're going to have a place to live you're going to be fine but like then like after like six months I just see you like getting like things really start picking up for you masculines financially and you're going to be like either like in a new job new career or you're going to be rebuilding your, your company, your business, um, or like starting a new company or something, and you're going to be making a lot of money just on your own. Um, and so you're going to be thankful for that. You know what I mean? Like that money is going to come back to you. It might feel like you're losing it in the present moment. It might feel financially stressful in the present moment, but that money is going to be coming back to you tenfold. You're going to be good. You're going to be okay. And like I said, same with the karmic, if she tries to get, she tries to hustle him for money, she's actually going to screw herself over because she's going to end up losing more money in the long run. So it's like better for everybody involved for the masculine to quit this job, this toxic job now and, you know, save his money and move on to bigger and better things. And like I said, don't mourn this best friend because this, you knew this person was toxic and you just, you have a good heart, which is a beautiful thing. And your divine feminine loves that about you. Um, 
but like I said, this this new best friend that's meant to come in for you is like it's gonna be like a bromance. Like I see these two men like skipping in the fields together. Like <laughs> it's gonna be a straight bromance. Like you guys are gonna like joke and poke fun at each other and like have that like healthy masculinity, like teasing and stuff, like playfulness. But it's like you're gonna you're gonna be able to be open and tell each other your secrets. It's just like a very beautiful, very deep uh, bromance is what I'm feeling here. Once you let go of this other toxic fake best friend that you, you know, intuitively, you know, this is not, it's not your best friend. It's the person you talk to the most, but I think intuitively, you know, this is not your, your best friend. You know what I mean? And it doesn't mean that all your, your friends are toxic. You do have some friends that are, that are good for you. You know what I mean? But, um, but yeah. Okay. So there's something else I wanted to get into here. And you know what? You can reach out to your divine feminine. She will support you through this, be it physically, be it astrally, telepathically. Reach out, you know, if, for those masculines that are here, like reach out. She will support you. She will support you. She will help you through this. She will help you understand this energy. But honestly, like you have so many bless, like it's, there's so many blessings in disguise here. There's so many. You have so many good things coming for you. This new business that you're meant to have or new job, you're going to be making a lot more money than you were making at this other one. So you're going to be good. Like you're going to be fine. Trust me. Like you're going to have a lot of money coming in and you're going to be like, damn, why did I not leave this toxic job sooner? Why did I not cut these people out sooner? Why did I not end these situations sooner? Like you're going to be so happy because you're going to have like this just money coming in and it's going to be like you're in control. You're you're in charge. You're doing things your way. Like, you know, like it's it's going to be like a just more more money than you made before. Honestly, it's going to be really beautiful for you. But um, but yeah, you got to be willing to go through these changes and, you know, step on your destined path, which is just full of abundance and happiness and true love and everything you could ever want and dream of. So there's another message here really quick. I'm sorry. I know this is this dragged on for a while, but there's another message here that I'm getting that. um. I feel like there's also something about forged signatures. So I don't know if the karmic has forged some signatures or the business partner or coworker or friend has forged some signatures, but there's something about some shady paperwork. So be aware of that. Protect yourself too, because these people are very toxic. You need to watch your back. Don't masculines do not react harshly. Just kind of like keep it to yourself, kind of keep it to yourself when you find this out and investigate, but be careful. Honestly, don't even seek revenge. Just cut your losses now. Just get out. Just get out. You know what I mean? Like this is like meant to end. This, this toxic bullshit is meant to end. Just cut your losses. Um, the best revenge is quitting this job so that they can't get the money they're trying to get from you. Honestly, that's the best revenge. They're not going to see it coming. If this is like a business partner or a coworker, just 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 leave in the middle of your shift or something. You know what I mean? Just be like, okay. Like just it's like taking your power back from them. Like you're not going to fire me actually. I'm going to quit and you're not going to get any money from me. I'm good. You know what I mean? Like throw these people off guard. Just quit. Just quit the job. Don't let them get that money. Um Don't be afraid to start this new life. It's, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Honestly, it's a beautiful, like you have no, you wouldn't even cry. I feel like some masculines that are like led to this video are probably really upset. Honestly, you would not even cry if you realize the things that are in store for you. They're so beautiful. There's so much happiness that's meant for you that you can't even like imagine, like you're meant to have everything. You're meant to have the family, the home, the financial abundance, the, the new best friend, new friendships, new, just everything, just perfect. Like just it's amazing. It's honestly, this is for you. It's like going to be this energy when you, when the masculines are in it, they're going to be like, this is too good to be true for a while. They're going to be like, this is too good to be true. This is too good to be true. And then one day they're like down the line, they're going to be like, damn, this is real. My life is really this good. Like, how did this happen? Like they, they can't even fathom how light, how good their life is meant to be. You know what I mean? Like, but anyway, Be careful who you trust because I also get the energy of someone reporting back to someone else. So I feel like this is either, I also feel like this business partner or this coworker might, for some, 
I feel like this person might have been led to um, try to separate the divine masculine and divine feminine. Like maybe try to get the mas try to get this masculine to focus more on work or try to fill his head with lies. Like, like maybe this is like a close friend that he like tells everything to. And he's like, you know, oh, I met, like, I, I fell in love with this girl. She's, she's beautiful. She's, she's amazing. And this guy is like, oh, like, like, what is it? Like, oh, like, you know, this is probably too good to be true. Or like, oh, she might be, she might be using you. Or like, eh, we should focus on work. Like, why are you, why are you changing so much? Like, why are you, why are you going on? Why are you so busy all the time now? Why don't you go back to focusing on work? Go back to, you know making my money basically um or they're saying like they're putting lies and this 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 shady friend or business partner or whatever it is that's connected to the masculine was putting lies in the masculine's head and saying stuff like you know like you know she's probably too good for you or she's probably she's probably using you or she's probably you know like you you're you're making you're changing too much like or maybe trying to convince him that like he's not that he's unstable or like trying to just trying to Fill him with self-doubt, trying to make, trying to put him down, trying to make him doubt himself, trying to make him doubt the relationship with the divine feminine too, trying to make him think like, oh, like go back to how you used to be, go back to how things used to be, go back to just working all the time, go back to just, um, you know, making money go back to this, go back to that, like, like just trying to make him doubt himself, trying to make him doubt his true love. The thing that throws me off is like, cause I feel like the karmic is behind this. Like she talked to this man, like the karmic talked to this business partner or his, or, you know, the masculine's best friend or, or coworker or friend to try to get him to doubt himself. But I'm trying to figure out how, how that worked. I want to see how I'm trying to look into how this worked because I feel like, Okay, because like this business partner or best friend of the masculines or friend of the masculines is in love with the karmic and he's being he's thinking with his dick here and being, you know, sexually seduced by her They're You know, like she she goes she does some stuff with him. Trust me. Ew, gross, 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 gross. But um, I'm just trying to think because I feel like the karmic is behind it. The karmic was influencing the divine masculine through this shady business partner. I don't know why I keep pointing. I'm sorry. I, that's so weird. I just realized I'm doing this. I just realized I'm doing this. I'm sorry, guys. I know it's weird when I channel. I'm like, I'm just seeing, I'm just, I don't know why I'm doing that. It's, it's a visual for me. It's working as so I hope you guys at least don't think I'm a crazy person. <laughs> I hope it makes sense for you. I just realized I was doing that. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> Channeling is weird. Spirit communication is weird. Let me tell you that. You know, you're channeling when it gets weird. Like, <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm trying to figure out how she did this because it's like she was influencing the divine masculine through this shady business partner, shady best friend, shady coworker, whatever. But I'm like, how did she do it? Because this this business partner or or friend or whatever the masculines is in love with the karmic. So like, how did this work? How did this even work? Because like, what is she gonna do? Say like, you know, go to his. Is she gonna go to the masculine's best friend and be like, hey, like, try to make him doubt his relationship with this new girl he's been talking to try to make him doubt this connection, try to make him question her, try to make him, you know, whatever. Cause it's like when, when the business partner or the best, or, you know, this best friend, whatever, be like, why do you care if he's with this other girl? I thought you wanted to be with me when the divorce was finalized. Like, why do you, why do you care what he's doing with this other girl? But for some reason, I feel like this business partner does not want to see you this business partner or friend does not want to see um, the divine feminine and divine masculine together, even though like low key he does because he wants to be with the karmic and he, he, you know, he wants the karmic to himself, but I feel like she, okay. So she's hustling the business partner too. She's, she's lying to the business. She's lying to everybody. She's trying to seduce everybody here. She's manipulative. I feel like she must've said something to make him influence the masculine and she knew what she was doing. Like her motive was to basically to basically influence the masculine through his business partner, best friend, whatever, whoever this man is. Um, but she didn't tell the business partner that because or the best friend or whoever this man is, because she um, she didn't want to be questioned. She didn't want this business partner to be like, why do you care if he's with another girl? I thought you were in love with me. Like, why, why does it matter if he's with someone else? You know, so I think that she probably said like, hey, I think this girl is like 
getting him off track from his business. Like she, she was upset that she was just jealous of the divine feminine. But I think that she went and lied and said like, Hey, this girl is like getting him off track with his, um, business. Like, I don't think like he's not making as much money or like he's not giving me as much money as he used to. Or like, you know, I'm worried that he's going to move in with her or move away. And, you know, then neither of us are going to get money. Um, or she's like saying something, something about money or something. Like, which, which isn't, you know, I mean, yeah, she just cares about money, but she was also jealous and just wanting to try to break up this divinely guided couple. So I feel like she, um, trying to see this energy I'm getting here. I feel like, she, yeah, she just, she, what, however it plays out, basically she just whispered she seduced and whispered into this this business partner best friend whoever's ear and then he went to the divine masculine to try to you know persuade him to end this relationship with the with the divine feminine like he went and told the masculine like oh maybe you're like you're not mentally well or like you know you've been making a lot of changes i think you're you're kind of going down a toxic path or you're um you know, you're not making as much money lately. I think you should be more focused on money. Otherwise, we're going to fire you if you don't focus on your money. Um, it's, it was all planned. It was all schemed, you know, or or he's saying like, and, and he's a pawn too. This woman's so manipulative that he, she, he doesn't even realize he's being played too. Um, but like, yeah, but like I see him going to the masculine and being like, yeah, you're like, you're not mentally well or like you're, um, you know, this girl is changing you for the worst or, you know, if you try to move away and move in with this, this divine feminine, like, what are you going to do for money? You're not going to have any money. You know, this is, this career is where it's at. You're going to, we're going to be make, we're going to be in the making millions soon. Just stay with, stay with this career, you know, um, focus on this career. Like, yeah, a lot of these threats are coming from the, the karmic and he doesn't even realize it. He doesn't realize that it's when it's the business partner talking, he doesn't realize that it's actually the karmic that's been talking. It's the karmic filling his head with this shit. And it's like, like I said, she's seducing this man too. Like she's manipulating him. There might be feelings there. Like I'm sure there are probably feelings there, but like she's basically saying like, she's just jealous of the divine feminine, but she's going to the business partner and saying like, oh, like we're going to lose the money or this, this is good, you know, or basically lying and playing the victim and making the business partner feel bad for her so that the business partner goes to the masculine to try to break up this couple. And I feel like the business partner is actually a lot smarter than the karmic is. So the business partner did this in like low key ways or the, or the coworker, however it plays out for the, for, for you guys. So the business partner did this in like low key ways, like, like, Oh, like you've, you've changed lately. Like maybe you should focus on work more, you know, or like maybe, you know, you're impulsive lately. Maybe this girl isn't good for you. You know, like just, just little things like that, where it's like, he pretends like he has the masculine's best interest at heart. He pretends like he's just worried about him mentally. Like he's just, you know, this, this business partner, shady, best friend, shady coworker, whoever this is, this masculine energy goes to the divine masculine and tries, you know, tries to fill his head with this nonsense and, um, confuse him and put this cloud over him. And it's like, he pretends like he has this man's best interest at heart. Like, oh, I just, you know, you just changed lately. I just want you to get back on track. I just want you to, you know, secure your finances. But in reality, he's trying to keep this mask on away from this other woman. And he doesn't even realize it. Well, it's the karmic trying to keep this mask on away from this other woman, the, the divine feminine. But he doesn't realize, like, I think that, so that's the thing. The karmic is lying to this. I hope, I'm sorry. I know this is probably getting confusing. The karmic is basically lying to this business partner that she's been messing around with. Um, this business partner, the, the, the divine masculine's best friend or whoever this man is that she's been messing around with behind the masculine's back. So she is basically like lying to try to get him to, to break up the divine masculine and divine feminine and trying to get him, trying to get this man to focus more on work. Um, but what he doesn't realize is that she's doing it out of jealousy. She's doing it out of spitefulness where I think she's actually going to him and saying like, Hey, like, you know, uh, he, she's like reporting back to him and saying, Hey, like, I'm worried he's going to quit the company or I'm worried he's going to, um, I'm worried he's, he's going to, you know, maybe like lying to him even like maybe saying like, Oh, she's trying to make him steal from the company or something or like, Oh, I'm worried he's going to move away and, and he's going to leave the company behind or I'm worried that 
he's not giving me as much money or he's not treating me well. He's this, this, this. So he, so the business partner is, you know, all smitten with this karmic and he's naive and trusting and, and, you know, thinking with his dick here. So he doesn't realize that she's trying to break this divine couple up because of jealousy. He thinks that she's, you know, just trying to break them up because the divine feminine is, is keeping him off, uh, track with his finances like she's taking him away from all this money that he he might be making with this business partner so so the business partner is kind of the, the, the naive one here he's like you know he doesn't understand the karmic's true motives here even though the karmic is financially motivated she's also motivated by her jealousy and, and bitterness and anger so um so yeah, she's whispering, she has this little devil whispering in his ear, and then he goes to the masculine and he says, yeah, like, focus on work more, focus on, um, you know, I'm worried about, like, just pretending like he has this man's best interest at her, like, I'm worried about you, I want to see you, you know, like, you're getting off track, like, you're doing better, so, like, you're, you're not doing as good as you were before or something, and the karmic's telling him, like, yeah, get him back on track for finances, for, you know, so he, he can give us more money, um, and that's why he's doing it. But if he knew the truth that she was doing it out of mostly jealousy and bitterness and just just the desire to make make to fuck this masculine's life up, I don't think he would be helping quite as much. Um, he does feel some guilt for how much he's he's screwed this guy over, his his supposed best friend. But I think this person's very toxic, and I think that he thinks with his dick, and I think that she's doing a lot of things sexually that override his guilt, basically. So yeah. Um, you got some toxic people. And this could be a father figure. This could be taken as it resonates. It could be another guy. But there's some kind of guy that the karmic is going to and manipulating him into manipulating the divine masculine so that the divine masculine separates from the divine feminine. There's a lot that's going on that you haven't even realized was actually the karmic. The, the masculine hasn't even realized that was the karmic behind that. The karmic was doing that. Um, it's very toxic energy. There's something with forged signatures for some of you too. Something with forged signatures. Um, what else here? Ooh, it's weird. It's a weird energy. I'm also getting the energy of spying. So this video has gone on for a while. So I'll probably get more into that in, an, in the, another video. But I keep getting the energy of spying. So either like... I think these two report back to each other, honestly. And if you're, so I know a lot of divine feminines watch these, but if you're like a divine feminine, you went and you got your masculine to watch this video. Like, you know, I just want to say if, if there are masculines watching this, like do not be, do not beat yourself up for not seeing this because it's like, you're a good person. You wanted to see the best in people, but you learn from this situation. This is a karmic cycle. You've leveled up. It's honestly a beautiful reading. If you think about it, cause you've leveled up and you see through this. Now you learn these lessons. You learn these karmic lessons. You got through the bad karma already. Your life is like meant to just have mostly good karma through the rest of your life. Like you've paid your dues. You know what I mean? Like you've paid your debt off, your karmic debt from past lives or whatever. Like you've paid it off and you have good karma coming for you. Really good karma, good energy. Like I said, you have a life with your divine feminine. You have a new business, new career, new best friend, new friendships. Just, just heaven on earth is what's meant for you, divine masculines. Like trust me on that. So it's like go easy on yourself. It's like, yeah, you didn't see it, but... um you learned like you're learning now. like you see it now and you're learning from it now you know the truth now so keep that blindfold off and take control of your life take responsibility and go you know take the leap of faith towards the, the destiny and the, and the beautiful life that you're meant to have with your divine feminine um i want to say be careful too because this this these are shady little sociopaths over here be careful don't call them out don't call them out keep this to yourself get away behind the scenes just just cut your losses while you can just get away because these people are shady these people might try they might try some shit to try to like try to make it make you seem like you did the illegal shit or try to make i don't know something sketchy here there's some sketchy stuff going on there's some sketchy stuff going on for sure behind your back don't beat yourself up you know, your divine feminine loves you more than anything. You are supported. You have a good life ahead of you. You have a good, beautiful future here with your divine feminine. Do not beat yourself up. Um, it's a learning experience. You know what I mean? Like you learn from it. So you're going to be more intuitive the next time around. 
you're learning to listen to your intuition finally. So it's actually a really beautiful energy. And like I said, you have a new best friend that's going to replace this old sociopath right here. And you're going to be able to trust this new best friend. So it's really, it's honestly, you have so much good energy, so much true love, abundance, money, everything coming for you on the other side of fear. If you're willing to let get out of your comfort zone, forgive yourself for not knowing better, forgive yourself, learn the lesson here, wrap up these karmic cycles. Finally, um, and know that you're going to do better next time. You're going to be more intuitive next time. You're going to listen to your intuition next time and you're safe and you're protected over here in this space, but you got to come jump over this. It's like a little river. I see here. You got to jump over this river and come over to this new space here where your destiny awaits, where, you know, more abundance than you could ever dream of awaits for you right here. If you're willing to, to take that leap of faith, you know, and you can, you will, some of you, it's going to take longer. Some of you, it's going to be quick. But either way, this is this is your destiny. Your spirit guides are going to make sure that you have all the abundance financially, emotionally, mentally, physically, everything that you're that's in store for you, that you're meant to have all this beautiful, loving energy you're meant to have. You're, the divine is going to make sure that you have this. This is for you. This is your birthright. You're going to have it. Trust me. So don't even worry about it. They can't take it from you. Um, and they're going to screw their lives up bad if they try. They're going to screw, they don't even know how bad they're going to screw their life up if they try to take it from you because it's yours, it's your birthright, it's meant for you, it's destined, destiny, destiny, true love, destiny, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine, destiny, and you guys know it too, it's a very beautiful, deep connection. Um, oh, I wanted to say, okay, so I'm sorry, let me pull some cards too. So I keep getting the energy of spying, so, so this karmic... I could be, I don't know if it's the karmic is spying on behalf of this business partner or coworker or shady frenemy, or if it's the, um, the shady frenemy over here, you know, business partner, coworker, best friend, friend, whatever that's spying on behalf of the karmic. I think it's both. I think that they both spy on the masculine and report back to each other. They both spy on the masculine and report back to each other. I'll probably get into that more in another reading too. But, um, and honestly, masculines, if you, if you're intuitive, like if you, if you're honest with yourself, you kind of knew that you felt like a weird competitive energy with this man. You felt off about him. You just have to start being honest with yourself. Like your intuition will tell you what's going on around you, but you have to listen to it. You can't ignore it when you don't, when you see something you don't want to see, you have to listen to your intuition and acknowledge it. You know what I mean? But there are good people in your life. I'm not saying, you know, don't don't get into this mindset of feeling like everyone's out to get you. Everyone's bad. No, it's like there's certain people that are, but you're cutting them out now and you're learning from it. And you do have some good friends that really genuinely just want to see you do better. And you have coworkers that actually don't know that all this is going on. Um, and this business might fall apart anyway when this comes to light. Like they might take your side and be like, screw this. Like they, you know what I mean? Like they might just see what's, they might just... There's a lot going on behind the scenes, basically. So you do have some friends, though. You do have some genuine friends that really um, love you and support you. And you're going to have more genuine, like this best friend, this toxic best friend is going to be replaced by, by a healthy best friend, you know, healthy masculine energy here. So you're good. You know what I mean? You're going to be good. Um, but yeah, I'm getting spying. I'm probably going to get into that more in another reading, but I'm getting spying here. I'm getting spying. So I feel like she spies on him. I feel like she spies on the masculine and like says like, hey, like he's planning on seeing her this weekend or he's he's doing this or like he's talking about doing. She might like report back to him like to get him money over the masculine. Does that make sense? Like she might like maybe she hears him on phone calls and she's like, oh, he's trying to get this client or she's or he's trying to. um He's working on this client or he's um, he's talking about starting a new business or he's talking about moving away or he's talking about doing this and she reports back to him and then he uses that information to try to screw him over financially and then vice versa. He also reports for her like he tries to get information on what's going on with the divine feminine and what's going on just in general and then he reports back to her. They're reporting back to each other. I almost feel like sometimes when you've been with your divine, like when the divine masculine and divine feminine have been together, the business partner or something is called because the karmic asks him to call and see where he's at. She asks him to keep tabs on, on you or your person. Um, 
Like there, I just get like someone listening in on phone calls. I get like a shady energy where they they report back to each other. They spy. They both spy. Both the karmic and this this friend of me here both spy on the masculine and report back to each other to screw him over both financially and also to try to break up this divinely guided relationship. They cannot break up this divine couple though. This is meant to be and they're going to be together. You know, if they're not already together. Some of them are already. Some of you guys are already with your masculine or your feminine. But for others, it's like you're going to be with them soon, if not right now. Any more messages? But yeah, they're spying, so be careful what you say. And honestly, if you're reading this, if you're watching this video, you can even use this to your advantage, masculine. Like if you, if you're, if this is resonating intuitively and you know that they're spying, use it to your advantage. Be a few steps ahead of them. And like I said, my advice is to quit that job because they're trying to fuck you over financially and you're going to lose that job anyway. And it's not a bad thing. It feels like the worst thing in the world. It's not because you have more money coming in than you could dream of once you go on your own business path or this new job, new career, whatever. Like you, you got more money coming in. You got new home, new money. It's, it's good energy. Dark night of the soul. Yeah, the masculines are going through a dark night of the soul. That's why all this chaos is going on around them. It's meant to shake things up. It's meant to, um, it's meant to shake everything up and get them on their destined path to abundance. It's meant to come in. It feels chaotic during the dark night of the soul, but it's like everything that just gets shaken up. All the illusions are removed and it feels like a terrible thing in the moment, but you're going to look, masculines are going to look back on this and be like, wow, this wasn't actually terrible. This was actually beautiful because it was removing all this negativity, all these toxic people that were no longer serving me, that were no longer, you know, no longer emotionally connected to me in the way I wanted to be emotionally connected to people. Like, it's a beautiful energy. You're going to look back on this and be like, yeah, that was the dark night of the soul. I had to go through that. I had to go through those karmic lessons. I had to, all this had to happen the way it did. And it's all going to be wrapped up. And it's like, you're going to be cutting this energy out. You're going to be, you know, free of this energy and on your destined path. It's like the dark night of the soul comes to shake everything up. It comes to make you question yourself and the people around you and remove the blindfold and acknowledge what's around you so that you can change your life. And after the dark night of the soul comes a psychic awakening where you have all this psychic insight and all this intuition coming at you at once where it's like you can get on your destined path. Like it's, this is, this happens to, to come into, um, it's like lots of blessings in disguise energy. Like it's, it's coming to remove all the things that are no longer serving you so that you can have the happiness and abundance that you want. Basically, you know, it's all meant to be, I miss you. I love you. Yeah. So someone here wants you to know that they miss you and they love you a lot. Yeah. See dream, psychic visions, telepathic communication. All this is meant to, to come in and, you know, give you, and you know, your guides want you to trust your intuition, basically. They want you to, to acknowledge your intuition. They want your person to acknowledge their intuition. Yeah, power struggle here. Power struggle between these, these toxic people. It's time to cut them out. And like I said, you need to be careful and you need to kind of be not, don't lash out at anybody if you find out about this. If you like, if you lead your masculine to watch this video, like don't, don't lash out at anybody if you find out about this because I feel like it's going to be chaotic. Keep it to yourself. But get your money. Just get your money and get out of there. Just quit the job and start over. Trust me. It's going to be worth it. But don't lash out is what I'm getting. It's not going to go well. It's going to be chaos. So keep it to yourself. Pretend like you don't know even. That could be the forged signature thing. Or like maybe if you lash out, they're going to they're gonna forge your signatures because they're going to be like, damn, he's going to quit the job anyway. Well, we'll, for we'll forge his signature right now so that we can get that money anyway. You know, something like that, possibly. So don't don't say anything. And and they're gonna if they're doing that and they're trying to hide it, they're gonna they're it's not gonna go well for them. Trust me. Someone here might end up going to jail. Apology. Yeah, someone's gonna apologize. Someone wants to apologize. I feel like this apology will be accepted. Custody battle. I feel like the karmic doesn't want to lose custody of her kid, but she might. If, the, if you guys, this is for those that have kids. She doesn't want to lose custody, but she might. There could be something with custody here.
Legal issues, okay. Hmm. Victim mental. Someone's trying to, probably the karmic trying to play the victim here. Hmm. It's interesting energy. I don't know what this is. I think it's just it's like a couple people. There might be some kind of custody battle going on. Not for all, just for a couple. I think this is like only a, like a, just a specific message for a couple of you. But there's some kind of legal issues here. I feel like the karmic might try to apologize to someone and try to like play the victim because she knows she's in some shit. And she knows she might lose custody too if she's if she gets caught, if they have kids together. Um But like I said, if she's apologizing to to the masculine or to her to the spirit guides around her, whoever, like if she's in this victim mentality where she's like just trying to play the victim and be toxic, they're gonna see through it and it's not gonna work. You know what I mean? It's just not gonna work. I feel like, I'm trying to think of what it is. Hmm. Major epiphany. Childhood wounds. I discovered the truth. Okay. I think that someone's going to give up custody. Like, either the, the, either there might be a situation where two people have joint custody and one of them is meant to have custody. So, either the karmic is meant to have full custody or the divine masculine is meant to have full custody. But I see one or both of them like, taking the other to court for custody or something or they might even come to an agreement but I think that they're realizing that they're hurting their kid so this is just for a few of you that like realize like for those of you that have that are in a situation involving children this is like just a very specific message for a couple I think that someone's having an epiphany here that this is damaging their their kid this is damage damage this is causing childhood wounds that I think it's a situation where it's like two people like a karmic and a masculine are realizing like they're going to damage their kid more by having their kids see them fight all the time and having their kids see them dealing with all this drama there could be cops being called just all kinds of chaos they're like i think that they I think someone in this situation either the karmic or the masculine had this energy of like oh better like this old-fashioned mentality of oh better stay together for the kids um, and it's like, it's an out, outdated way of thinking, honestly, it really is an outdated way of thinking because then that kid grows up seeing these two people that are not in love with each other, trying to force it to work, you know, fighting all the time, chaos, you know, PTSD, just trauma, chaos, just intense energy all the time. And the kid grows up thinking that's what love looks like. The kid grows up thinking like that is what love looks like. Like that's what love is. You know what I mean? Like the kid grows up and is attracted to men or to women that are like that, that are abusive, that are toxic, just like the karmic is, you know what I mean? That are manipulative, you know, like just, you know, same energy. They repeat those childhood wounds. They repeat these subconscious childhood patterns. Um, and so it's much bad, better for the, I think someone's realizing it's much better for this kid to just be with their mom or to just be with their dad and not have all this chaos, chaotic energy. And you know what, you know what I mean? Like it might be like, yeah, the mom might be with someone new. It might not be, you know, the dad that, that the kid wanted, but at least it's a health, happy, healthy relationship because they're in love and they're working on it. So this, this kid is going to see that they're going to be like, okay, this might not be my dad, but at least it's someone that my mom loves. Um, and so, you know, like this is, this is good energy like this, you know what I mean? Like they're going to see that and they're going to be like, okay, this isn't like, like, yeah, it's not my dad, but this, my mom loves this person. They're, they're working, they're working, you know, they're 
they're together, they're happy, they're good, and they're going to see what love looks like, even if it's with a stepfather or a stepmother. And they're going to grow up and they're going to repeat those patterns instead where they're going to have healthy, stable relationships. Or it could be vice versa. It could be that this person's going to end up, um, it could be the masculine's going to get cut full custody. Someone's going to get full custody is what I feel. But it could be that the, um, the masculine is going to get full custody here. And he's going to be with a divine feminine. And the divine feminine is going to be like a stepmother to this child. And, um, you know, like the, the, the kid might be like, damn, this isn't my mom. I miss my mom. I want my mom back or whatever. But then he's going to grow to love the divine feminine or, you know, or like vice versa. Like I said, it could be that he's, the kid is meant to be with the karmic and you know, the kid is more connected to the karmic than his dad or her dad. And he's not going to like this. He or she is not going to like the stepdad at first, but then eventually he's going to grow. He or she will grow to see the stepdad or they could be multiple children could be, you know, could be siblings or whatever that are going to see the stepdad as, you know, a father figure. Or like I said, it could be the other way around where the masculine is meant to, the masculine energy here is meant to get custody and the divine feminine is going to be with the masculine and the divine feminine is going to be like a stepmother figure. And the kid will see that though. They'll be like, like they might miss, they might miss the other parent or whatever, but like they're going to start seeing this other woman or this other man as like a parent figure. And they're going to be like, they're gonna be like, wow, like, this is what love looks like. Like, they're not arguing all the time. They're not trying to hurt each other. They're not trying to screw each other over. I'm not being exploited to get back at dad or get back at mom. I'm, you know what I mean? Like, this is what healthy love looks like. And so they're going to grow up and they're going to have healthy love, healthy patterns, because they're going to see that even if it's in a stepmother or stepfather situation. I hope that makes sense. So I think that's, I think that there's a couple that's realizing that. I think that there's either the karmic or the masculine or both of them are realizing that, that they're damaging their own child. They're creating childhood wounds that do not need to be there because they don't even love each other to begin with. So it's like, why, you know, like the, the masculine and karmic, they don't even love each other to begin with. So why damage their child over this? What's the point? So I think someone here is taking full custody. I think it might be agreed upon, actually. It might, it's either agreed upon or there might be a custody battle. I'm not sure, but that someone, something's happening there with that. And the kid is going to be okay, like, or the, or the children, multiple children are going to be okay because they're going to be able to see what healthy love looks like, be it the karmic and the stepfather or be it the masculine and the stepmother. It's either way, the kid is going to, these two different couples are going to be in love. So they're going to see that, that, you know, that it's okay. They're going to, they're going to have that message that it's okay to leave a toxic karmic situation behind, that it's okay to walk away from something that's not serving you anymore, that you don't have to stay together for the kids. You know what I mean? And they're going to, they're going to, you know, even if it's with a stepmother or stepfather, they're still going to see this situation as like, like, wow, this is, you know, this is different. This is, you know what I mean? Like this is true love. Even if it's not my original father or my original mother, this is still, these two people are still very much in love. So this kid is going to grow up healthy, mentally stable, and you know, they're going to be able to attract good relationships as they get older. So I think that someone either wants to apologize to you or there's some kind of apology happening here um, or they want to apologize to their child because they're like, you know what, it wasn't, we shouldn't have stayed together for the kids. We shouldn't have dragged you through this. You know, I think the karmic is also realizing this, like that she's hurting her own child by doing this, by trying to, you know, hold on to a situation that's over with. She's actually exploiting and mentally screwing up her own child. And that guilt is going to kick in sooner or later. You know what I mean? Because she has, I feel like she has exploited the child to try to use against the masculine. I really do. So yeah, someone is getting full custody here is basically the energy that I'm getting. Someone is having a major epiphany, be it the masculine or the karmic or both, that this is causing damage to their child and that it's better that the child is actually going to be a lot healthier if he's just with one parent versus with both of them. Or if it's like, it could be like a joint custody situation where it's like someone gets him three months out of the year or someone gets her or their siblings three months out of the year, or it could be like a situation where like the kid decides when they get older or like, um, some of you have teenagers. So your kids are already able to decide for themselves and you guys are letting, someone's letting the kids decide for themselves since or they're old enough to decide. Um, or it could be a situation where it's like the, the mother or the father gets them like one, one week out of the month or something. So it's not like a complete, 
like the kid's not going to be lost forever to this other person, but it's more like someone's getting like the like 90% custody, you know what I mean? But it's honestly going to be best for everybody involved. Um, I do also want to say, I do see that the mat, the divine masculine and divine feminine are going to have other kids at some point and the karmic and this other person are also going to have other kids at some point, possibly possibly for them i don't know for sure for the karmic and well i think i think why i'm why i'm getting an uncertainty is because it kind of depends on how much she screws things up like i said because she could she has two different paths she could go down and she could just end up in jail um but yeah someone discovered the truth someone had an epiphany and was like damn this is like this isn't good for my kid you take custody or i'll take custody but what's this let's put the kid first and not try to force this anymore because it's actually backfiring in our faces and the kid is actually getting this negative idea that this is what love looks like and I you know I want the kid to, to be happy and not to not to not to think that not to think that this is what love looks like I'd rather I'd rather you just take the kid and you know just see him or her or them once in a while and have them you know not have to see us argue all the time and have them not have to think that this is what love is because we both you know the karmic and masculine know this is not what love is this isn't they don't love each other um or like i said it could be the other way around when the, the karmic is saying that she's like you just take the kid like just someone saying just 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 you take full custody because you know this is toxic or whatever Because you're, you know, you're causing more damage than good by trying to force something. And yeah, by doing that, by someone getting full custody, this kid actually has a chance at growing up, like, healing from these childhood wounds that have already been, already been created. It's not too late. They can still, they can still heal from these wounds. And, um, they're going to see, like, they're going to realize, like, oh, like, I can... Like, they're going to have, like, a different perception. Like, they're going to, they're, you know what I mean? Like, they're going to be like, okay, like, there's no arguments anymore. Things are calm. Like, they're going to have a new perception of love in a positive way because someone is is willing to give up that custody. So, yeah, there could be a stepmother or stepfather situation involved here at some point. Light magic. Yeah, someone's ending these toxic cycles. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. I have told the karmic that I love you. The karmic knows the karmic knows. So this mask might have just confessed to the karmic that, Hey, I love you. I think even if you guys aren't doing spell work, I think that you're sending your masculine healing energy. You're sending good vibes. You're sending like, you know, I like you're sending telepathically. You're saying, I love you. I support you. I forgive you. I'm here. Let's just get this show on the road. Let's just start our lives together finally. Like, talk to me. Like, let's move things along. If, you, if for those of you that are not already in, in, you know, already talking, some of you are already talking, are, are, are already talking though. Karmic doesn't like it, but she can't do shit about it. Um, but yeah, some of them, they told the karmic that they love you. Some of them just confessed it. Or some of them, like, the karmic just kind of already knows. Yeah, she's not happy. Yeah, some of you might get a phone call, but it's it's like whatever. Try it. <laughs> new job. Yeah, a lot of a lot of masculines are just gonna go into this new energy, this new job, new career, new abundance, like we talked about in this reading. Yeah, it's taking a little bit longer than expected, but it's gonna come in. It's coming in right now. Karmic cannot do shit. I'm letting go of toxic people. <laughs> Yeah, financial issues, drugs, alcohol, shady person. Hmm. Could be. Could be someone that's got a drug, alcohol addiction. There's some kind of. Hmm. So they, they could be blowing their money on drugs and you don't even realize it, like the karmic or the shady, the, the, some, like the business partner or something. I'm watching you. Someone's trying to, yeah, someone's trying to spy and do dark, dark magic, but honestly, they're a joke. Like, they can't, like I said, it's all coming back on them tenfold. They can't do shit. Like, they want it. It's like a little kid trying to be threatening. Like, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. It's like, yeah, who cares? Like, <laughs> watch me. Like, watch me. Do it all you want. Like, the karmics can watch the Divine Feminines all they want. And they probably will because they're obsessed with us. Yeah. 
<laughs> See this? This is, you cannot make this up. That's beautiful. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna end it there because I know we're, we're two hours in. <laughs> she thinks she's big and bad. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I'm gonna try to do some dark magic on you. Little does she know the divine is about to intervene and she's about to go to jail if she keeps it up. Cannot make it up. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, oh gosh, it's, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love it. Cannot even make it up. Okay. I'm going to leave you guys with that. Like I said, like I've always said, you know, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is right below in the description box. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. Um, you can copy and paste it in the description box below if you want to e if you want to email me and get a private reading. Um, please subscribe if it resonates. Thank you guys for watching. And I will be doing this continuously. So let me know what you guys want to know about.